Live from the underground world headquarters of Sugar Daddy Production, it's the Wolfpack Super Deluxe Funtime Variety Show version 3.0 with your host, Daddy Longley, Buddha, Anthrax, Terror, and many, many more. So hide your children, put away any sharp objects, and strap in for the next two hours of necrophilia nonsense. Now here are your hosts, Wolf Pack. <laughs> oh yes! Yeah. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Wolfpack Super Deluxe right. Funtime Variety Show, coming to you live on the uh, on the internet. Yes, all over the internet. All over the internet. Every one of them. Every internet there yes. is. The <laughs> undernet, the internet, yeah. the overnet. Mm-hmm. Coming to you mm-hmm. live on Psychopathic Radio, I am Daddy Longlegs. Yes, yes I'm your host of the most with the toast of the most. I'm drinking <laughs> coffee, I have some cool orange glasses, and already I just want to say thank you guys for having us tonight on the uh, right? on the other uh, lovely Psychopathic Radio. Yes, yes. We have such a show in store. There's all kinds of stuff going on in this show. Before I get even into the show, because I want to jump right in. Well, un- understandable. There's so much. There's that it's hard so not much to. going on. You're watching the show on Psychopathic Radio, of course. Yes, you are. You can follow this on Facebook. It's slash Wolfpack. Mm-hmm. You can follow us on Twitter. It's at Wolfpack. Or on Instagram, at Wolfpack. Also, be on Psychopathic Radio's uh, Twitter, which is at Psy Radio. And if you're hashtagging this, again, is what? At, it's hashtag Psy Radio. Not Psychopathic Radio 2004. <laughs> Super Calories. So just at Psy Radio. Join us online, tweet us, Facebook us, mm-hmm. uh, spam us, hit us with spaghetti sauce. Yes. Whatever you'd like to do. We got a ton <laughs> of stuff going on. There's a chat going on right now on Ustream, too. I don't know if anybody's following it. I think our man, Mal Havoc, the, the man who's manning it. He is manning the, the Ustream channel. Yes. I'm not quite sure what he's doing on the Ustream channel. He's looking at it. He may be actually on the YouTube masturbating, <laughs> whatever. I'm Daddy Longlegs. I am joined in the studio by my main man, Buddha. Yes, hi. I have the lovely, lovely, lovely ladies over here. Yeah, lovely right? ladies. Like I've got, of course, the lovely Anthrax. Hi. Nicolette Necro. Hi, guys. And Kitty. Or, or Cat, actually. Cat. Not Kitty. Not <laughs> Kitty, yeah. but Cat. And she's in the corner. She's been bad, so she's yeah. Got she's in the corner for tonight, right? <laughs> but I'm, of course, I'm jo- joined by my main man Tara over here. What's good? Who's hanging out? And we've got J Dub off on the side, who is uh, hiding yeah. since last the last. Well, episode. his nuts are still on the line, so he's a little worried about what's going on. Now, if you didn't tune in last episode, last last uh, uh, last month, what you had was basically a series of technical errors. Yeah. Done by our production uh, assistant. A series uh, of misfortunate events right. for J-Dub. Which led to J-Dub <laughs> basically getting kicked in the nuts now. Yes, yes, At yes, least yes, how yes. many, what's the total up to J-Dub at the gathering? Unfortunately, I believe it's about six. Six times you have to get kicked in the testicles at the gathering on stage, am I correct? I do believe so. That's a, that's pretty, and we have the people already lined oh, up. Oh yeah, they're, they're lining up around the corners for this thing. We're going to have a lot of talk about the gathering tonight. We we'll yes. have... I mean, we just have a lot of a lot of interesting yeah, stuff. Yeah, we, we we've got a lot of stuff packed into this one. Let's talk about what's going on tonight. Well, first off, we have the world premiere of the brand new Wolfpack video, yes. a special kind of love. We're going to talk about that in a little bit because yes. we're gonna we're gonna play the video, then mm-hmm. we're gonna come back to the video. Uh, before we even get to that, I just want to uh, just want to talk about the uh, the hundred pound elephant in the room. And by a okay. hundred pound elephant, I mean the lovely. I don't know if you can you get it up close. I don't think we have the ability to do no. up close. We, yeah, we don't have the technology right now. This is, and I think, <laughs> I think, I think, I, uh, I think, uh, Tara may want to get a, a beverage. Go ahead, Tara, help yourself out. This, this is, and we'd like to thank this. Yes, this is our sponsor, Colcock. We now have in the studio an actual three bottle mm-hmm. Colcock tap machine. That's right. Ice cold, sir. Ice cold. Oh yeah. Ice cold, cold cocked, on tap, all the time. All the time. What radio station has that? Psychopathic Radio. It's psychopathic that. Radio. The only. The only. Yes. That has cold cock on tap. Yes. Anytime. Mm-hmm. Take your shot. Yeah, right it's there. It's got a fist. It, it, right? All you got to do is, and if you think that's fake, JJ, hit me up, bro. Look, it's, it's. Yeah, no, like, uh, yeah, if, if I could take a camera right now and move it closer so you could see it coming out, it's a working tap machine. It works. This is fancy for us, people. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be honest, it's a little strong. <laughs> it's a little but bit delicious. A, but delicious. It is delicious. It is cold cocked. It'll punch you in the face. It will. I just had to get that out of the way because we'd like to just thank cold cock. Check them out. So much, yes. If you, you still, you know, if you like booze, mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. like partying, if you like drink waking up in like a Tijuana prison. Which who doesn't? Right, right, I seriously. Mean, <laughs> <laughs> Anthrax, what's the last time that happened with you? Uh, I thought we weren't going to talk about that anymore. Well, okay. <laughs> she was late today, so just everyone 
Yeah. Don't know <laughs> why she's late, and it is have to. It does have to do with the Tijuana prison, and there's nothing wrong with that. Not at all. Not at all. We've all been there. We've all been to the Tijuana yeah, prison. It happens. It does happen, and there's nothing wrong with it as not, long as you're not, not bleeding in wrong places. No. Well, yeah. Then, then it gets a little weird. Then you're. Then it's really strange. Yeah. Then right? then you want to get the hell out. Let's see what else we got going on. So. Thank you guys at Colcock. Check them out yes. online, Colcock.com, uh, ColcockWhiskey.com. Yes, find them on Colcock, Twitter. Twitter, yeah, Instagram. Yep, they're, they're, all on, they're on some other apps. And that brings me to another subject we're going to talk about. They, they are, they're on some other apps, you say. We're going to talk about tonight. Now, you can change the camera angle once in a while, Doug. Oh, well, he hasn't gotten that far yet. He hasn't progressed to that far. <laughs> so we're going to talk about tonight. Wolfpack has been uh. in a special cahoots <laughs> with, uh, with Apple. And uh, with with Steve Jobs, yeah. uh, he's dead. Yeah, it w- we've been channeling we've him. We've been channeling his yes. spirit. Little red, little hot. We'll bring it down for you. So we're we're channeling Steve Jobs. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and we're uh, we're basically coming up with the fact that we can um, we can now design a Wolfpack series of apps. Now that yeah. we have the radio station, yeah, we have the technology. We now. have the technology. So we're going to be talking a little bit about the apps that we have that we've yeah. designed for right, Wolfpack.com right, right. that you down you can download online. Yeah, you online. can download them. Yeah, uh, some have a fee, some don't. Yeah, exactly. They're just like any app, they're, some are different, different characteristics. Right. You know, it, and it also depends on how in depth you want to get with the app. Sure, sure. And some of them are really in depth. Exactly. So. And some of them are about as useless as tits on a bowl. I, I disagree. <laughs> I wholeheartedly what disagree. What are, you, what are you trying to say? I just, th- I think they're all very, um, they're, they're going to take over the app marketplace. Are they going to do the app I, marketplace? I think so. Like you're going to, you're going to need these apps once you actually see what we're going for. You're here. saying a person cannot survive without our apps. I'm going to say no. Some of them are the next generation it's of apps. of of apps. It's like trying to survive without GPS nowadays. Yeah, and who, how? Kids, kids can't do it, right? Nico, can you survive without GPS? No, not at all. No, not at all. No. What would I, happen if you didn't have GPS? Right. I don't know my way around, especially when I'm driving. That's that's. I think that's sexist, isn't it? Well, it's okay because I'm saying it. Okay. And I've driven with her. It's true. Exactly. Okay. Right. My car breaks down all the time. All the time. All the time. <laughs> right. All the time. I'm, I was there for one of the times. As was I. My, we I'm were my, all. Yeah, I'm only <laughs> six car by now. I'm only twenty. Um, but yeah, no, I can't. You're six car and you're only twenty. God damn. How did that happen? Really. I like Honda. Okay. It, it they last forever. That's, yeah, that's their be, selling point. <laughs> they're supposed to be indestructible, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, apparently this one wasn't indestructible. Okay, okay. It was, it was just as old as I was. All right. I guess they died before I did. Mm. Yeah. Well, that also means that you may be dying soon. Because you run your life wild, That's like your car. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Was that young? What? That's not nice. I didn't mean it in a bad. I meant dying in a good way. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, I, in I a got positive, nothing. positive, happy is there, way. Is there such thing as a dying in a good way? May, uh, dying by, I think, dying by sex. Uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, right. Death by snoo snoo, as they referred to it on Futurama. Death by snoo snoo. Death by snoo snoo. Is that legitimate? Well, on Futurama, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. So that's good. What would be another good way to die? Yeah, it was. They'll fuck you to death. Okay. Yeah, it was. But it was like Amazon's basically would just fuck guys that crush them, and that was yeah. basically it. Yeah, that that sounds like fun though. I'll be honest with you. No, That's sign like, me up. I was actually talking about this today. <laughs> right. If I'm going to go out, I'd I'd be cool with that. That's death a good way to go. Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, what's another good way to go out? I think. Hmm. Uh-huh. I don't think there's any other way to go out. Sex is good. I would think. Chocolate. Um, Chocolate. Would you like to my Nutella. I don't like uh, Nutella. Yeah, see, that wouldn't oh. do see, it she for likes me. Nutella. <laughs> yeah, like that. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird to me. Nutella's strange. Well, it's uh, foreign to me. We mean chocolate spread. Nutella doesn't no, sponsor. There's anything. no sponsors. This, don't <laughs> mix yeah. me. I mean, this chocolate this spread is tasty. Death it. by cold <laughs> cock, however, that would work. Death by cold cock would be good, but wouldn't happen with. Did you just did you just lick the Nutella out of the jar? Yeah. No, she took the stick and dipped it. I hope you caught that on camera. I missed it. Pay attention there, Doves. I know you're watching you porn, but you know, <laughs> please pay attention every once in a while. Let's talk more. Let's get off the death subject. Let's talk more about what we got on. So we're going to be talking about our apps in a little bit. Yeah, we're going to be yeah. doing our contest. We did it last. We did not a contest, but our, our competition. Game. Yeah. It our, went so well last week, last oh, time yeah. on the radio. We do a competition, a little competition called, do we have the new intro for it, or do you have at least the entrance screen? We do, yeah. Let's, yes. We have the intro? I have the video. We, Let's yeah. go ahead and see the intro of the, uh, this is poles or a holes. Wait a second. Let me get up the thing. And I will say, my mom, my mom, Binky, if, you, if you've met her, which a lot of you have, she loved this game. She actually yeah. tuned in and watched this game and thought it was great. This is basically where we mm-hmm. put up a photo, uh, a predetermined, yeah. a couple yeah, yeah, photos, yeah, yeah. ten photos. But it's unknown to everyone in correct. this room. Except, except for except myself. For, yes, yes. as a producer, he does know too because he's, oh, he's okay. sharing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But the people who are in the room now will vote if yeah. this person has a pole or a hole, meaning mm-hmm. a penis or a vagina. Right, 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 right. And it's, I'll tell you, in the 2000s, 
it's not it's getting, easy. It's getting damn near difficult. You know tight what I'm jeans really fuck it all up, man. You don't know what's going no, on. No, the tight <laughs> jeans are a problem. Uh, guy liner is a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, giant 44X breasts are a problem <laughs> on dudes. The fact that they can shave down the Adam's apple. Right. Look, if you can make Tori Spelling look decent, you can probably make any dude look decent. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, no, definitely. You saw Tori definitely. Spelling pre-surgery. It's like, right? and then it was like, surgery. It's like, ah, I have Tori Spelling. And it's like, okay. Wasn't she just in an accident? Like, are we go- uh, we're, we're about to get a letter from Aaron Spelling right, right now right. telling you have to stop talking about this immediately. So you should have followed the precursor of, is she in an accident yet or or <laughs> I hope, dot, dot, well, dot. No, I'm pretty sure I saw it trending on Facebook. Like, the only way, I know, honestly, the only way I get my news. Like, That's it. Like, the most most of the country. Sure, sure. Trending she was here. definitely in some kind of an accident. Uh, Russia's invading the uh, the waters of England. That, I just want to make sure that, It wasn't like, trending. So no, no, no. It. I, I just want to make sure, like, uh, Pat, what's that kid's name? Dopey Gillis, or what's the kid's name? Uh, the surgeon? Doogie Hauser. Oh, Doogie. I just yeah, want to make sure he yeah, appears yeah, yeah, shirtless yeah. somewhere. <laughs> I'm good with that, right? I'm not too worried about Russia. <laughs> right? Let's do this intro real quick, Dub. Spin it, brother. <laughs> I got to say, it's fucking fantastic. It's probably like about it. the best <laughs> intro we've ever had here. <laughs> Mad Dog, you about done yourself. <laughs> That I've is good. Seen. It's real good. Yes. <laughs> Give it up to Mad Dog because that was Mad beautiful, Dog. sir. Bravo, sir. I got to tell you, we've really stepped up our uh, our uh, production level here oh, at the God Sugar yeah. Daddy God uh, Productions yeah. Camp, my basement mm-hmm. uh, in, in beautiful PA. Yeah, four cameras now. Four cameras. Four. Couple like, extra mics, yeah. some hookers, not, but some coffee. We're good. Not enough headphones. We're getting there, though. Everyone. Not enough Stick headphones with us. Good job, but we did have this. What more do you need? Fuck talking. Let's just start yeah. yeah. Who just wants to watch us drink for two hours? Because that's <laughs> going to be a key point in the shows for the years oh, to yeah. come, I think. Oh, yeah. And I think we're going to bring this little number to the gathering with us. Well, why not? If we come to the gathering, I don't know if we're going yet or not. Because <laughs> it's not on the website yet. So oh, we, right, right, know, right, you know, right. I don't right, know. Right, yeah. I can only purely speculate, Buddha. Yeah, right, right. The rumor has it. Rumor has it. See, I got an email yeah. from an unknown source mm-hmm. on my AOL account. Oh, of course. Onto my onto my uh, my pager. Ooh, yeah, yeah. And it yeah. said With we're going to be there. two-way, right? The two-way. My two-way. It, was it in code or was it actually spelled well, out? Well, it was in code using this new app I have called Sextagon. Sextagon, Which okay. works different than Twitter because okay. what it work, Twitter's limited to 150 characters. Right, right, right. Sextagon right, right. is only six. I like it But so each letter changes right. the numeric value of the next letter, so it's okay. encoded. Okay. I'll yeah, show I, you later on. I'll show yeah, you yeah, the yeah, app we'll that works. It's kind of revolutionized connection on the internet. It sounds simple, and why aren't we doing it already? It's simple. The only weird thing I keep seeing is more people keep Sending, thinking it's a dating app because the name is Sexagon. I don't I, understand that, that. That's just dumb. I don't know why would flinger. people. Yeah, right. It's like, not, what's that other? One? What is it? Too many people got their minds in the gutter. What's oh, that, what the those, Tinder thing? The Tinder. Oh, or Tinder. Grindr for for J Dub. Uh, wait, what, I don't know. It's the like. gay Tinder. Oh, okay. So oh, <laughs> and, and, yeah, 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 and it's okay, ruthless yeah. too. It's ruthless. <laughs> it's like you know, on, on what's the one Tinder? It's like you know, hey, would you like to meet? Right, right, on right. Grindr, they're like, yo, you want to fuck in a closet? <laughs> <laughs> my gay buddy shows me. I'm like, dude, you guys are out of hand. Like, you just, you guys, is there somewhere you don't screw? <laughs> is anywhere off limits? No, no not I mean, gay men can screw literally <laughs> anywhere with the, with the help of grinder. <laughs> is I that true, J Dub? How funny? Okay, yeah, is, like, is that true? <laughs> Uh, well, we just get the, the big the shake. Silence is golden, which says so much. It does. That, <laughs> that in his beard. <laughs> so you got to wonder what's going on. What else we got going on? We're going to talk. We need to pause for We're going to talk about the app. We're going to talk about the new video. We're going to talk a little bit. If we get a time tonight, right, right, right. Uh, something I want to talk about is um, you know, all jugglers love wrestling. Yeah, who do, uh, again? Who we all it? love wrestling, but right. a lot of jugglers can't compete in wrestling, you know, because oh, it's, yeah. it's a big man's game and it's yeah. a strong man's game, and it's a lot of time and it's a lot of yeah. work, and it's not the average thing. Now, we all like football and baseball and stuff, yeah, right, right, but there's right. never been truly one sport that's been coined for a juggalo. There really has. And hasn't. what there I want to introduce yeah. at the gathering, I'm thinking, and you've got all the notes on it. Yeah, yeah, we, we talked about this. We talked bit. about this. We went over the statistics. We went over the logistics. I think we came up with it. I think there was uh, a lot of research was done to find the right game. Exactly. Too. As long as your yeah. jugglos at home want to bring it, because we're gonna need the we're gonna need the response of a lot of people to build teams. Exactly. This is all on everyone at home right. happening. This and is just an idea, but you are going to be the people to make it actually happen. And Maybe. I will officially say Maybe. that if we have enough teams, because how many do we need? Eight? Uh, I believe we can do eight, yeah. We need eight teams total for the one. gathering. Eight teams of how many? Uh, si- well, uh, up to ten. No more than ten. How but, many minimum? Um, six? It's, it's six with up to four uh, alternates, but no more than four. Spill it, Buddha. What are we talking about? The one, the only, you love it, I love it, dodgeball. Motherfucking dodgeball. dodgeball. <laughs> How awesome would it see at the gathering? Right? 
The moon's coming up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The sun's going into the third hemisphere. Of course. And just ball slamming on people's faces. Left and right. <laughs> and you know, and you know that noise. That noise. Yeah, exactly. It's, it, you can't really mimic it. <laughs> no. But it's such an iconic. You know it. Thumb. All you need to do is hear, and you're like. You know, and did you remember when you were a kid? Because we were oh, all nerds growing up, and we we we, we changed in the gym. Oh yeah. And you could hear the squeak of the sneaker. <laughs> and you could hear the thumb. And then you felt that diarrhea cramp. Because <laughs> you didn't want to get hit in the face. Oh yeah. No. And look. Big kid, right. big kid in uh, grade school. Guess who was a giant target for all of Dodge? And there was always a kid. See, ours was Sean Bemke. Uh, and Sean okay. Bemke, he was like a jock. Right, right, His right. His brothers were jocks. So he was like a he had way, way ahead of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The motherfucker could throw that ball like 107. Like, See, I got, I got good at dodgeball. Did you have only, a Sean Bemke? Uh, I was basic. Well, they tried to make me that. Luckily, okay. there were a couple others that okay. were a little worse than me. Uh, Once they realized I was quicker than I should be for a big guy sure. and could throw, I was kind of safe. But I'm still a big target and got hit a lot. There's nothing wrong with getting right hit. In that area. Getting hit with balls in your face. It happens. For many women, it's it's you girls have known what it's like to get hit with balls in your face. You just keep reminding me of my high school days. Right. Can we just stop talking about it, balls it, to the face? Exactly. I understand completely. <laughs> as long as you have some wet naps and you get it off your chin, it usually ends well. You gotta go to the, and that was the other thing. You knew you had to go to the next and I'm not saying for the ladies. Yeah, oh, I'm right, saying for right, the guys. Right. Well maybe for the ladies too. You knew you had to go to that next class mm-hmm. with like the red welt. Yeah. And stare at the guy that just hit you. Right, right, right. Like, you and maybe you had to partner up with him in science lab. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, I got to dissect <laughs> yeah. a crab with you? You just beat me with a fucking yeah. with a yeah. stinger. Right? Like, I want to help you graduate. Right, Fuck right. Fuck you. Yeah. Like, we'll help you. Yeah. So we're going to talk a little bit about, if we have some time tonight, we're going to talk a little yeah. bit about the, uh, the Juggalo Dodgeball proposal. We would like to yeah. present... You know, because we want to do a team. I think uh, we oh, think yeah, the psychopathic. Yeah. We think psychopathic radio or psychopathic records should actually put together an, an all star team. Yeah, we yeah, actually yeah, went yeah. ahead and we have an all star team. Yeah, we we drafted some stuff. We have again. These are all our ideas. Purely speculation. It's all ideas, and we need your help to make it happen. If you're at home right now and you think juggalo juggalo dodgeball is a good idea for the gathering, yeah. you're coming to the gathering, and you have some homies that want to put together a team, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and you like to throw balls at other people's faces, right? Pretty much what we're looking at. Yo, this would be the perfect time for him to have that ball noise, but I didn't even think about it. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, God, well. he's got nothing. Hey, he's Do we have anything nothing. close? Nothing. I think just that boing noise was pretty. That's close. That's clo- I mean, well, we can use it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it, Buddha. Yeah, right. I'll take it. It's good enough. Now, we also have a couple other things going on tonight. Of course, we have the, uh, but we have some segments coming on tonight. Yes, of course. Yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. On top of the video, mm-hmm. the world premiere of the video, we have, of course, we have Beware Horror Reel, yes. which is uh, your, your your segment where you're reviewing horror movies. All horror movies. And tonight, yes. we have Blood Lake, Attack of the Killer, Killer Lampreys. Yes, yes. You don't want to fuck around with a lamprey. You really don't. It's a horror classic. It's kind of like Frankenstein, Dracula. Oh, yeah. Blood like attack of the killer lampreys. Exactly. In like thirty years, this is all they're going to be talking about. Yeah, that's Wait, it. Did you say lamp? Like lamp? Like I love lamp. Not right? no, like lamprey. Oh. It's, it's one word. Lamp-ray. But like lamp and ray cool. at the end. Lamprey. Yeah. It's like one of these fishes that suck onto a shark and they bleed it dry. That's fucking weird. It's kind of cool. The movie though is a classic. It's a, oh yeah, definitely, classic. definitely classic. It's a classic. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Of course, we have Ask Anthrax coming up. Advice for everybody. You're going to be spelling it out to the people. People don't realize how knowledgeable Anthrax is. Oh yeah. Three PhDs, all in sex. Mm-hmm. She knows what's going on. If it's a rash, if it's just a hive, she'll know it. Yeah. Oh yeah, she knows. Check I, it out. I Some can't tell you how many weird times I have to send a text or call me like. Okay, so Anthrax, I have this weird question. Right. Don't tell anyone. And yeah, <laughs> right. f- at least three out of four times they've ended up on the show. Right. You know, well, it's, it's that thing that the formula she gives you, the, the either itch it, scratch it, or exactly, lick it. Exactly, yeah. Either way, it works out well. Yeah, and us. every time she's nailed it. Yeah, it's good. Every time. So we got that coming up. We've got, of course, our homeboy, Cookie. He's doing a culinary critique tonight of the bacon-wrapped pizza from Little Caesars. Which I'm very excited about. I love Little Caesars and one day wish to own a Little Caesars. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's, that would be... That's my. That's where I'm going to peak. If I, that like, is that's such all an I want. awesome level of right? peak. Like, like, <laughs> I'm going to be president. I'm going to be an astronaut. One day I'll own a Little Caesars. One Little Caesars. <laughs> I, I'm going to own one. Just one. one. Just, just one. I don't need a whole bunch... You don't need just to show one. off to nobody. You ain't showing off to nobody. Exactly. Just one little Caesar. Just need one little Caesar's and I'll be happy. Everybody look at that screen real quick. Go back to that camera scangle. And look, we have Doyle in the house from the Misfits over here. Look how <laughs> pale you are, Terror. You look so pale you look like Doyle. <laughs> when you type, you have to do that really angry and hard. Punch the <laughs> keyboard. <laughs> He's not playing anything. <laughs> Why does he keep punching his keys guitar? start popping That's off. It. Of and he fixes the string and gets mad. That's it. That's the Doyle. Uh, Doyle, if you're listening to please don't punch me. <laughs> you're a lot scarier yeah. than I am, That sir. guy said it. <laughs> he said it first. He made me do it. What else we got going on? Of course, we have my segment coming up a little later on, Five Minutes of Murder. We're going to be profiling yeah, a new serial killer. Tonight, we're profiling Arthur Shawcross. 
which is the the monster of the river. This guy is mm-hmm. a brutal motherfucker. Oh yeah. Uh, not only was he responsible for thirteen murders, but he did two. Got caught, admitted to them. Mm-hmm. One was a five year old. One was a three year old. He ate one of their genitalia, Good and then Lord. he was let out because he was deemed okay. How is that possible? Uh, Once you start eating other people, where does that line with liberal, well, you know liberal what? judges cool. and psychiatrists? Yeah, like, hey, I'm good. All right, then. Yeah, like, how do you get? Who gives you that gold star after that? Like, you passed this test. You're good. Hitler. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, beat ran out. Uh oh. You know what? Oh, man. What do we got lined up yeah. right now? I don't know what's going on over here. Right. Nope. We can keep it going, baby. Watch. Right. Oh, oh wow. Beatboxing. See, we just keep it going, baby. <laughs> well, you should have. It's just well, waiting. It's just. It was like an <laughs> announcement. We're supposed to be like. Yeah, right? <laughs> Everyone looked up to the speaker. Oh, no. Who's so getting called down to the principal? Back office? to Shaw Cross. This guy is a true fucking... Yeah, psych- yeah, he's yeah. a true schizophrenic, psychopathic. Oh, yeah. Multiple personalities. This is how he fooled people. Mm-hmm. Very smart guy. We're going to talk about a little bit of that coming up in the next, next I don't know, five minutes or so. Yeah, no, probably bit, not. Like, bit. When's that in the schedule there, big man? I don't know. i got to look at some paper. <laughs> so, you have two of them in front of you. Like You have the majority lab. of them. <laughs> such, it was such a creepy left. That's coming up in around, around, around the halfway point. We got a two hour right. show tonight. Okay, okay. To the halfway point. What we also have is we have a couple of things I just want to talk about besides the cold cock machine. Which is awesome, by the way. Uh, we have coming up in May, because we do these shows right now monthly. We're probably going to be doing bi monthly, all depending on what Psychopathic wants and what the Juggalos want. Exactly. Uh, but we're doing them every, every month at least right now, and we're, doing, we're going to be doing a show in May, May 29th, uh, 2015, the return of Wolfpack to the Reverb. Well, not to the Reverb, but to yeah. the return to Reading. To Reading, yeah. Reading, Pennsylvania. We love running Pennsylvania. We love playing mm-hmm. PA. Sometimes we can, sometimes we can. It depends. Our mm-hmm. schedules are very fakakta. God, very put that so. flyer up there. Look, he's thinking. He's like, where is the flyer? Fuck. I, I know I had it. it what was, was it number? Here. Crap. Oh, it's my computer. I'm, it's how my brain's hurt. Man, I had this in another, oh, fo- I had this in another program. Shit. I mean, file. Shit. Fuck, is this a computer? Listen, I'm going to get punched <laughs> in the balls again. I get 30 like, seconds. At this point, this is like four shots. Like Should it nuts. be 30 seconds until he's punched in the nuts again? Do you have it? It's somewhere. Well, you better find it, That's you fucking helpful. moron. <laughs> like, it's only on the sheets where we're doing everything. <laughs> there you go. Puss that up for the kids at home, for the ladies and gentlemen at home, and I'll read the information. Did you got it? Uh, well, we're getting there. Look how there. slow he's Yeah, he's all it takes 13, is, he just has to 12, click. 11, 10, 10, 10 9. 9. Oh, oh yes. Wow. <laughs> Please have everything else ready to go. Now, keep that up for a second. It is May 29th, 2015 at the Reverb in Reading, Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. It is Wolfpack. It is Optimus Music, which is a good, good, good. If you haven't checked him out, check him out. He's he's definitely a PA up-and-comer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Driven Insane Entertainment, Mr. Dead Poets, and more. There's going to be many, many more groups mm-hmm. coming out. Tickets are $13 in advance. They're $50 at the door. Hit up uh, optimismusic at gmail.com as it's spelled on the flyer. It's right there. Uh, Google it. You'll find it. Hit up your Facebook if you want to or your MySpace. Mm-hmm. MySpace. Ooh, yeah. Sure. MySpace might have it. <laughs> What's MySpace? Not. I don't know what my. You're, you were like 12 when MySpace <laughs> yeah, was really? I don't even think I was born on MySpace. I, I love now. when you put up pictures of yourself from MySpace and you're like eight and you're like fucking. <laughs> like, you're, yeah! just, you're Marilyn Manson out the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to see me breathe fire? What? <laughs> yeah, so that's the show coming up. You guys definitely got to get tickets for that. It's going to be a blast. We're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be a good time. Uh, we're going to play a lot time. of old stuff, a lot of new stuff. Mm-hmm. We're just going to have a blast. Oh, yeah. It's, it's the return to Reading. Yeah, and if nobody comes, we'll just hang out with my mom. Because yeah, she's yeah, coming. Yeah, she's yeah, going to exactly. bring a big thing of beefaroni. Ooh. And we'll just snack. We'll nice. give out some plates. Nice. It'll be delicious. Beefaroni and Reading? Sign me up. I know, right? Do you have the ad ready to show on Cold Cock? If you notice on there, there's production notes on the sheet. Oh, man. He's so stupid. He doesn't this even read happening. right beforehand. I, uh, I put them in different color for him. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, it's all color like coded. I guess it's, it's it, color coded. It says it says production note on the yeah. on the on the Lotus file. Let's not. Let's uh, let him think for a minute. Let's talk about something else while uh, we're doing we that. We can do that. We can. Do we that. have coming up tomorrow. Yes. Uh, oh, around yes. four or five yes, o'clock yes, yes, yes. is the brand new mm-hmm. season three of Failed to Mess. Yes. I'm oh. excited. My goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This show has been a huge success on the internet. Uh, it is a Let's Play show that we do here. Mm-hmm. Uh, we play games, we play video games, we have a good time. And uh, uh, the show has been so successful that we're now in the third season. Yeah, that's crazy. We put this thing out every week, mm-hmm. every Friday. Thank you, thank you. Every Friday. And it is uh, a lot of fun to do. Oh, there's a, it's a ball. It's the t- you got the flag? Well, hold on to it for a minute. No, no, now he puts it up. Look. <laughs> oh, this He's is awesome. He's so slow. <laughs> I love you, but you're so slow, though. 
they what? actually had that open as well. That's okay. Oh, wow. Excellent. Right on my screen. People are fucking dumb. Exactly. <laughs> I was so confused there. That, that was, was great. No, it was like he was talking with his yeah. mind. <laughs> it freaked me out, man. Oh, wow, man. This is weird. <laughs> like, We're moving on up. We got a soundboard. <laughs> we have a tap machine. <laughs> Oh man! Oh my word! Getting fancy We're up getting in this fancy. joint. Really? I want to do when it gets a little warmer. Is I'd like to put in the other room some stripper cams and do like mm-hmm. girls dancing on poles while we do videos and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. just have a constant. Every once in a while, maybe in the P and P, we just go to stripper, stripper cam. Stripper cam, yeah. Like when we we're boring them, they can maybe, maybe it's like a, a, an advanced DVD where they can hit on Ustream and go to the second cam feed. Oh, yeah, right, 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 yeah, right, right, just dancing. It's just dancing. Uh, it's like my free <laughs> cam. You just go there. <laughs> you can pan through. Okay, we'll just go to there instead. <laughs> we'll, we'll have the girls strip. And we'll have my free cams out there so they can dip the girls via the my free cams. Right, right, and still listen to us. And still listen to us. That's perfect. Oh, we'll be the audio feed. This is pretty. Wow. wow. <laughs> I got some shit going. Well, this is pretty good. There's one problem because I don't know if they want to hear men's voices as they're watching girls dance naked. Why? Why wouldn't they? You right? There is music. <laughs> you have to be careful though because we can't hear you on the mic. So don't just yell out right now unless you can yell over into her microphone. I share my mic with you. Say it again. <laughs> Lean in. Yeah, you got to get close to the mic. We can't hear you. <laughs> she wants you to do no, don't, you know anything. Oh, man, this is just getting scary. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Let's, 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 let's move on quickly, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> let's move on quickly. So the third season of, of Fail to Miss is brilliant because... Uh, I, and I'm tooting my own horn by saying it's brilliant. Why it's brilliant? I can never tell a fucking camera on. Yeah, I gave up because I I don't know when he's changing them, so I just look so at you. Weird. All right, oh, numbers right. are gone. That works. Oh, so you. why fail to miss <laughs> the new season that starts tomorrow around 5 o'clock? Yep. You know, we get them around 5, 5 to 9 o'clock. 5 Eastern. It all depends on what time uh, one of our, our, our good friend gets home yeah. uh, and gets to upload them because we shoot them all and then we, we upload them. Now, mm-hmm. this season's a little different. All the games are shoot them up first person shooting. Yes. It's usually me versus Buddha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we have two avatars that look like us that are clearly Really, mm-hmm. really look like us. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Like uh, I, I know my king gets mistaken for me all the time. Sometimes I forget who I'm talking to. Yeah, when he's there. it's I'm creepy. Like, I'm like, oh, it's Nikki Wu. Yeah, it's like Huck. looking in the mirror, and I'm like, right. oh, Nikki Wu, you're beautiful. It's like you're really <laughs> <mirror. laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> um, and then of course my, I, I have a second avatar that was yes, filling in for yes, the first yes, avatar because yes, mm-hmm. the first avatar had a, had a I'm not going to put his business on blast, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but he had some situation he had to attend yeah, to, right, 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 and he had to get it locked down, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. so therefore he was, uh, we had. Our, our new avatar, yeah. which is which is Hal Mavic, Hal Mavic, Hal who Mavic. is taking over from Al Havoc, right. who does normally Daddy Long, Daddy Short Legs. Yes, he te- technically got killed off for the third season. Right, right, right. That's just kind of you know it happens. Right. And it, 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 but now. if you watch the second season, we almost did fucking kill him. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> but don't worry, it's TV. He might be back for the fourth season. He might you be back know. for the fourth you season. Never know. It all depends. You have who, to who tune knows? in and find out. Right. Exactly. Now, here's the cool thing about the third season of 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 uh, oh, yeah. uh, Phil the Mist. There's a lot that, of cool things. Well, there is a lot of cool things. The season, tortures yeah. have been so we compete, and whoever loses, our avatar has to bear the burden of shame, spin mm-hmm. the wheel of uh, of shame, of shame yes. and do whatever the challenge is. Yeah. And it is amazing because what did you try to put that in your nose? Just now? <laughs> I was eating it and then a piece fell down and I was like, oh. Uh oh. I, I don't it. know what's going on <laughs> on that craziness. side of the couch. It's, yeah, drunken strippers. But like, I want to look on that side I of the couch. This is so the... weird. Like snacks Whoa. is happening Uh-oh. up oh, over man. here. Uh oh. So long story <laughs> short, somebody has to get tortured. Yeah. Now we do twelve in a, yep, in a season, mm-hmm. and at the end of the season, the biggest losing avatar yes. must get the other avatar, avatar tattooed on them. Exactly. Now, we won't tell you anything oh, more yeah, than that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're going to have to watch the entire season to find out just who. Well, we haven't played the whole season yet, so Dubs, are you scared that it might be you that has to get tattooed? I'm actually mortified. So you would have to get <laughs> Nikki Wu tattooed on you. As me. As as Nikki Wu as Buddha. Nuda. Nuda, yes. Uh, Nuda. Really? Yes. yes. That's, that's how it works oh, man, out. Man, that's... that's- I'm still dreading this decision. And the placement's going to be key because it probably is going to be either an inner thigh tattoo or a tramp stamp. I'll take the uh, tramp stamp over the inner thigh tramp tattoo. Stamp. A tramp stamp. I think that'll look good, man. Okay, and now if Nikki Wu, who's not here, we're going to talk about it on the next episode. Next time we're on the radio, probably in May, what we're going to mm-hmm. do is we're going to bring both these two gentlemen in. Right, right, right. So it'll be right about when the when the competition is getting heated. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Heated. <laughs> when it's getting heated, and we'll talk about it. We'll see where the score is at that mm-hmm. point, mm-hmm. and we'll see who's you know who's worried and who's not. Man, I mean, it's kind of freaky. Oh yeah, I mean, I would be I, no matter where this the like. Uh, what we call it? Uh, how many games have been played? I'd be worried because right. at any given time it can change. You don't know what's going to happen. Definitely change. 
Chaos can happen. No idea what's going to go on. If we have a draw in a game, things get different. Like, how is that going to play out? Right. What is the chat? How? What are you guys going to have to do? It's, it's going to be interesting for you. It's definitely going to be interesting. Buddha, let's uh, you know, let's let's uh, we'll talk about that 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 season a little later on. We got a lot of stuff going on. Or to make sure, are we streaming? Are you sure we're streaming right now live? Let's see if we are. I hope so. It says we is. We are good. I just want to make sure because last time, if you remember correctly, half an hour into the show, we weren't streaming. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And someone had to get kicked in the testicles. <laughs> Do you remember who that somebody was? Me. That would be you. <laughs> that voice. Are you fe- are you uh, are you feeding on psychopathic speed though? Do you want to check that real quick to make sure we're pulling? I just want to make sure to make sure the kids at home are enjoying the show right now. Oh, understandable. But uh, you know, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get come back in a little bit. We got a couple mm-hmm. things we want to share. We're gonna talk about the video, the new music video. Mm-hmm. But we're gonna show them the new music video. First. Yeah, we're gonna debut right here, right tonight. That's it. Now, after you watch it tonight, it will be available on the show on the Replay mm-hmm, Broadcast. Mm-hmm. Now, you can see our rebroadcast on YouTube on Psychopathic's channel, their YouTube channel. Yes. You can also see it on their Ustream channel. Are we on? Are you looking? Cool. He's getting there. He's getting there. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably going to end up playing it through the system again and getting feedback. But I'm scared. Why are you scared? Are you I'm not broadcasting? Nervous. I'm just nervous. I, like, I'm broadcasting, but you never know. He's been nervous since like 5 o'clock, so this is kind of fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Doing this show live is so much more fun that way. Because he's like, he's like, he's like, yeah. oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Are we broadcasting? <laughs> are we still loading? Almost, it's almost. It's 286 of the running very fast. <laughs> the spinning mouse wheel, the spinning mouse wheel. The spinning I can't mouse see wheel. the screen, but I want to keep acting like I can. I like that. I like yeah. that feature. <laughs> I like that you now have a laptop too, so we're like all yeah, high right? tech in here. Yeah, it's, it's I can't crazy. moving on up. <laughs> we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. Well, uh, while he does it, I'm going to take a uh, shot of cold. Would you join me in a shot of cold? Yeah, I, I shall, I shall. I'm going to have to move some things here. Yeah, no, that's what I... I was just waiting for me to drop it all over the laptop we were just talking about. Ah, you know, <laughs> this show's got to go crazy some of them. Oki Chimpo. Emperor Oki Chimpo, here's to you, my friend. Come pie, my friend. Come pie. Come pie, oh pie. I'm covered in cookies. Oh. We broadcasting? <laughs> hey. Let's keep talking for a little bit more until he figures out his computer. I'm going to say the answer is no. <laughs> You're <laughs> saying no, we're not broadcasting? Well, since we're already having this much trouble figuring it out, right. that's not a good sign. Yeah. He's, he's not very smart on the computer. No, no, no. Jay, go ahead and stop. I'm going to look at... You, Buddha, you just babble about something for 10 minutes. Okay, well, since the girls have been stop quiet, me. I'm going to look to the hot section of the room. No offense, everyone else what in the, the room. F- uh, yeah, you're good. You're good looking. I'm guy. the only other person in the room. You're a good looking dude, but I mean, come on. They, they, there's chicks, and she has. <laughs> okay, answer us. Can you tell us about your bag of snacks? I have snacks. Can you tell now why do you have them. a bag of snacks? Are you just because you love them? <laughs> <laughs> snacks are a necessity to oh, walk back. I got these, these, these. Oh, we're not allowed to say name brand. The crunchy cookies with matter. that good shit in the middle. Oh, the crunchy the cookie with the good shit. Mm. Now. Are you just going to be snacking the entire show? Absolutely. That's pretty awesome. I, I hope, like, everyone at home, try to count the Maybe. number of different snacks that Anthrax actually has. Well, now I can't tell you what's in the snack bag. Cause the but, I mean, yeah, the, that's a huge and bag. I got, I got one snack that I haven't tried before, but I keep seeing the commercial for it, and I'm excited. That's a huge... Are you going to be able to go at least have all... I know you're not going to finish all of those snacks throughout the show, but... Why? Do you want one? No, I, I'm good right now, but I'm probably going to attack your bag. I'm not going to lie. Did you hear He said he's going to attack your bag. We are broadcasting live. Make sure you're not on, uh, on uh, Wi-Fi. We are broadcasting. Your testicles are safe, J Dub. Yeah. Well, Go ahead and turn for your Wi-Fi off minutes. too, uh, just so we're not taking the bandwidth mm-hmm. up. Apparently, we're getting a slow transmission, a lot of scrolling wheels and whatnot going ah, on, okay. which is fine. It happens. You know, we have high bandwidth, but we don't want a lot of people tuned in. That shit does happen. Oh yeah. No, I never had these. Oh, you're right. So you can stay on. Make sure. Well, you're <laughs> fine too. You probably want to be off, but it's not a big deal. You know what? Let's let's just get to the video because I think that's what we what's, what's the kids what's the kids want to see? Exactly. I mean, I'm the candy lady. <laughs> <laughs> They want to see can- the candy lady. That's what they want to see. <laughs> I just want to see the candy lady. I'm just going to go over here and drink some more fucking cold coffee. Yeah, right. I'll join you. <laughs> let, let my breath burn through the night. And uh, I think I think that's what we're going to do. You know, let's go ahead. We got the video up. Let's go ahead and see it. Ladies and gentlemen. The debut. The world debut. You know, I wanted to get one of those like big, big, blah, 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 blah. I couldn't find one anywhere. Oh, really? So it's going to get a really small one. It was just like. 
World premiere. World premiere. <laughs> like, Could find that either. Remember when MTV would put their world premieres on? They'd have like the crazy thing happening. MT them? what? Yeah, what's the, <laughs> what's that? They, they, wait. They'd be like, oh, what the like, Jersey canceled. Shore's on? It's basically sixteen. The show the Jersey now. Shore. Oh, yeah, that, that network. Okay. Yeah. Let's I do got it. you. Let's see this world premiere. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoy it. This is world first. And be ready to be horribly offended. Yeah, you're going to get offended. <laughs> uh, and you're welcome. Yes. And if, if you want if you want something to piss your friends off, here you go. A special kind of love. Take it away, Doug. You're watching the Super Deluxe One Time Variety Show on Psychopathic Radio. Hosted by the Wolf Pack. You know, girl, how people say opposites attract. Yeah, when it comes to you and I, baby, they could have been more right. Let's just say, in other words, our relationship was handicapped from the start. When I lay my head at night, every detail I can remember When your eye caught my eyes, I think it was in mid-December So many cherished memories come rushing back in Like every time at dinner time, like an applesauce from your chin Or when we had our first date, man I got so damn hyper But I could tell you excited too, because I had to change your diaper It was just another signal, I was doing something right with any luck My lips and your backs would be locking before night when you whispered in my ear, kinda reminded me of Gollum And all the exotic positions to your lack of a spinal column All of our love making, all the time I'm glad you had to wear that helmet Cause I knew I blew your mind Thought you blew more than my mind Even with your lack of lips And I could still recall your touch Without those pesky fingertips Even the distant memories of your EKG a beeping Makes me toss and turn all night Until I hardly get to sleeping I guess it had to come to an end when push came to shove When all the weight of the world would disapprove of our love Now every memory we share together just makes me cry I guess it's why you had to limp off with that kid from Whitney High
you guys think about the video? That was awesome. It was fucking amazing. amazing. So good, dude. <laughs> amazing. I have, I have to say, I have to, I have to say, uh, I think it's going to win a, like a Pulitzer. I think so. I mean, I know Oscars aren't normally given out to music videos. Right, right. But I think in this one time, they're going to make an exception. In the grand scheme of reality, I think you're right, but I Yeah, I mean, right. it tells a story, everything about it. It, it really, it tugs the heartstrings. It really It did tug the heartstrings. It, like, it tugged the uh, the wallet strings even worse. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Give it up to Mike G for putting yes, that together. Yeah. Yeah. Michael G. Yeah. Unbelievable work. That man is a genius in his field. He I'm really not quite is. sure he what really his field is, is like left field. It's pretty much whatever field he wants to do The man at can that touch time. anything. He's like the yeah. Midas touch. It's gold. No matter what. He's like, oh, I'm going to do this. Oh, I'm awesome at it. How about that? I think the MVP for the video. Now, although Nikki Wu as a woman looked pretty good. Yeah, that is very damn convincing. Am I, am I too loud on your microphones, ladies and gentlemen? I don't think okay. so. I mean, although Nikki Wu looked amazing. Um... By the way, I'm wearing the glasses because I feel like I'm in shame at this point of producing <laughs> yeah. a video of that level. Uh, and the the, 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 yeah. the the point of the video, the the matter of the point. Yes. Oh, are you ready? Yeah. Now we're getting serious, that? folks. I was just like, I, I learned that in this, this an acting class. But it's probably <laughs> the point of the video is to lighten the fuck up. Uh, don't be so PC right. and treat everybody equally, even with satire. Don't get so bent out of shape. Exactly. We pride and still up. letting people with Bloodhound Gang mm -hmm. do the same thing with Wolfpack. Lighten up. Yeah, that's all. I don't know if you noticed that, Buddha, but two of the gentlemen that were in that video right. were actually, well, one of the gentlemen. One of them, yeah, yeah. Well, it, an argument could be made for yeah. two. An argument could an be argument made for two. An argument could be made for two, but one. Two gentlemen <laughs> in that video. One a gentleman definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. clearly um, a, a special needs person. 100%, yes. Our good friend, another rapper, a person who we're producing a TV show mm -hmm, for, mm -hmm. the gentleman by the name of Lowercase J. Lowercase J. Lowercase J. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a claw. He doesn't so much have claws. <laughs> you know, he, he has hands. You he saw does. them. They're yes. there. They are beautiful. They are. He's a beautiful, beautiful man. I would have to say the MVP, however, is Mal Havoc. I, his moves on the pole, I got to say, I that was impressive. What would you have to say there, uh, Tara? Uh, you were there for the whole shoot. You were there for the whole 16 days on location in Istanbul. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What did you think? Uh, well, it was a lot of fun making it. But what did you think but of what did you who did you think suffered the most? Suffered the most. Yeah. Mm, that's a tough one. That is a tough <laughs> one. When you take a contest into that consideration like Right. Who did the best job? Yeah. Who wasn't in the most pain wearing a dress on the steps of Harrisburg? Yeah. <laughs> I'd say probably it's definitely between Mal Havoc and Lowercase J. How many times would you say we. Oh, Nikki Wu fell down the entire steps of the Harrisburg. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's Capitol. pretty rough. He when had he, a helmet. When, he did have a helmet, but I don't think that helmet covered his back. <laughs> True. And he did fall. Oh, yeah, no. That and was what happened when he real. fell? Who waved uh, to the, us? The police waved to they us. They just waved. Just to make sure they, he was okay. They just went. Uh, Capital police good? just drove right by. <laughs> we all thought we They were wanted good. nothing. Yeah, we were like, fuck, fuck. <laughs> they wanted nothing to do with our group. <laughs> they wanted to get the hell out of there before the giant fat man and the retarded <laughs> child in the bag. Yeah. And the best part was all these people came running to try to help with To help, right, right. Yeah. Yes, they did, actually. It was, it, was, it was priceless. It was very convincing. But yeah. I well, got to say, Mal Havoc looks fantastic. He does look fantastic. He really does not look like Mal Havoc in the video. No. It's, it's really cool. It's like you, you, he transformed into a creepy dude really quick. For being as large as Mal Havoc is and sort of having a very unique look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's able, he's able to like transform himself. Incredibly. Kind of like a shapeshifter. Yeah. Kind of like one of the house of Slytherin from Harry Potter. Okay, okay, So he can okay. like, like not one of the Hufflepuff faggots. <laughs> one of the Slytherin house who can transform. Right. And then also he's like a 600 pound guy for one minute. Yeah. And then he's a 35 pound like like swimmer for like the Olympics. Yeah, right, right. It, and it's you're like, insane. whoa. How did he do that? Mind numbing. It's bravo, Mal Havoc. Bravo. I think our hats off to Mal Havoc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wu did great. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna definitely see Lowercase J shine on his show. Mm -hmm. We're finishing up the recording in May. Yes, yes. Oh yeah. Yes. Uh, he's producing it out. We're producing. Yeah. We have a couple pr outside producers and our producers mm -hmm. and a couple friends producers. Like we have Fritz the Cat yep. and Defect and a couple other guys who are gonna be Jason Porter. A couple guys that are putting tracks together. Yeah. For Lowercase J to mm -hmm. put out his new record, uh, which I think we're gonna call Sweet and Low, but we're not too sure. Nice. Because nice. I like it. Well, it makes sense. It does make sense. It fits you perfectly, Jay. It does. And you know he's listening right now. Oh yeah. Any case. Did you guys like the video? I, I loved it. Okay. Jay's like, I'm too busy playing Minesweeper. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, it got me again. 
Mac Keeper. What the hell is this? <laughs> I don't know. I think that worked well. I, I think that I think it, it worked great. It, it's fun. It's going to be available on the Wolfpack.tv mm-hmm. as of, I think, tomorrow, probably like a.m. Okay, by the time it cool. uploads. Yeah, right, right, right. Uh, And then, of course. Check the Wolfpack Facebook. You'll mm-hmm. know exactly when it's sure. loaded and you'll be able to check it out and follow show us all on of Twitter, the at Twitter, sure, yeah. at Wolfpack, and the Instagram, all mm-hmm. that stuff. Mm-hmm. Again, I think Mal Havoc looked swimmingly stunning. In the purple chiffon. I agree. He looked phenomenal. The other person I have to give a little MVP to mm-hmm. is our own Nicolette Necro here for doing the makeup <laughs> oh, yeah. on Nikki Wu because that was good. That was good. No one could tell that was a boy. Yeah. Was no, it that guy? No, when I first saw it, was, it I had no idea that was Nikki Wu. No, no idea. One knew. I was wondering, I was like, where the hell like who is this girl? Where did we get this trick? <laughs> I had no idea. I'm not even I'm not lying. I was really like oh, it no, took me a minute. I was like we're like, oh my like, God, that's Nikki Wu. <laughs> yeah, and although he has those looks where, you know, he's kind of transformative too. He, he's very much so. He really looked like a hot retarded chick. He really did. Like <laughs> I don't, he nailed it. Yeah. He really nailed it. He definitely nailed it. He it got was a sad ending. You know, the player got caught. Yeah, I mean that's what happens. It's your age-old Romeo and Juliet story, right? Done in the year 2015. Exactly. Having retards a stand in Yeah, and look, no one even died in the video. No. We, we're we one step better. The William Shakespeare. I think Mal Havoc's soul died during the video, I'll be honest with you. I think there's definitely part where you see him dancing, if we can find some of the B-reel. Yeah, right, right, where right. Where he just turns to Jay, and you can just see his soul. <laughs> it's like when you watch the eyes, the blight, the glimmer. Right, right, it right. It just went dull. <laughs> he's like, but he, he looked fantastic dancing. He was on the pole. Exactly. He was working. He looked good while he was doing it. If he has to die, that's a good way to die. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Look, we're going to come back. We're going we're gonna to play mm-hmm. a couple things. we got coming up next is Buddha's Horror Reel. Blood Lake, this is a, 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 an Attack awesome the thing. Killer, well, we're going to come back in a couple minutes after that. We're going to play the game Poles versus Holes. It's not Poles versus, it's just Poles and Holes. Mm-hmm. We want you to play along at home. You can follow us on the Wolfpack Twitter, at Wolfpack, or on Facebook. We're going to show you a picture. You let us know what you think. Is it a dude? Yeah. Is it a, score yourself at home. And now this is a thing. Score yourself. If you get it right, you get a point. Mm-hmm. But if you get it wrong, you get a deduction of a yeah, point. Yeah, you take away a point. So we're like Jeopardy. Right. Yeah. Now we're just like, oh, nothing happened. No, fuck that. You, you have start to at zero that. and you either go positive or negative. Correct. Yeah. Just like a transgender person. Yeah. What? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking AIDS here, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're talking AIDS. I'll slow it down for the room. I think we're talking AIDS. I like the confused, the what, and just closed eyes. No, because it no, no, it's in process. Oh, you got it? <laughs> there yeah. it is. Now it's just Look. my ADD. Uh, I was fading out again. <laughs> that was it? Okay. So we're going to come back to puzzles. Once you guys to screw yourself at home, let us know how you do. Last mm-hmm. episode, our man Terry here won the Cape of Shame. He did. Lost he did. the Cape of Shame. Do we have the Cape of Shame? It is there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over there. The loser has to wear the Cape of Shame. Uh, I think we're going to do that. You want to do that? Let's go ahead and let's do uh, Beware Horror Reel right now on the Wolfpack Super Deluxe Fun Time Variety Hour here on Psychopathic Radio. Y'all. Check it out. You're watching the Super Deluxe Fun Time Variety Show right here on Psychopathic Radio. Hosted by the Good guy. 
guy. But, but so what, what happens, happens is, is these lampreys, for some reason or another, I'm, I'm not going to give you the spoilers because I've gotten, gotten yelled at in the past for giving too many spoilers away in my reviews. reviews. What happens is, there's, there's these lampreys. They're, they're in, uh, they're they're in the lake. lake. What, what they're, they're trying, trying to do, these things are appropriate like trees. There's tons and tons and tons and tons, 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 tons of them. The Animal and Wildlife Commission or some shit like that finds out about these lampreys, and they're trying to go, like, oh, we've got to stop this from spreading because they spread, it's going to go to Lake Michigan. So they're trying to get to it, and as it's thawing out, all these lampreys are there. The Animal and Wildlife Commission find it, they try to stop it. Christopher Lloyd, being the mayor of this, this little, little of this little town, does not, not want them to take, take too much time doing this because the Great, great Lakes are now falling out and people are going to go in there for spring, spring trying to have fun, trying, trying to do whatever it is they do with the Great Lakes, lakes when they, they all fall out. out. So, so these, these lampreys start breeding and they're going crazy. crazy. Then, then guess, guess what happens? They get into the lakes. But these lampreys, they're hungry. They're trying to attack. There's so many of them there's no food for. So what do they turn to? They, they turn, turn to humans. humans. They, they start, start ripping eyeballs out. They, they drag 300 pound men who are working on the, 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 the working on stuff into a lake. I'm not, not exactly sure how they, how they did that. that. You, you don't, don't really see how, how they did that. that. The movie itself is, is not scary. scary. You're, You're not, not going to jump. jump. It's, it's kind of like, like an old school monster movie. movie. Like, like, they don't really make too many of those anymore. And for that reason alone, I'm going to go ahead and give Blood Lake Attack of the Killer Landries Zero streaming virgins. But, like, like I said, it's not, not that bad, bad movie. Well, well that's, that's all I got from, uh, from the horror reel for this week. But don't, don't forget, forget, if there's, there's a movie you want to see on the horror reel, send me an email at bearhorrorreview at gmail.com. Send that to me, let me know what the movie is, let me see the title screen, anything like that. Let me know what it is, tell me you want to see it on here, and you will be seeing that movie soon on an upcoming edition of the Beware Horror Reel. All right, that's, that's all, all I got. got. And remember, remember if, you're if you're not, not down, down beware. beware. You're watching the Super Deluxe One Time Variety Show. Psychopathic Radio. Hosted by the Wolf Pack. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it was weird for a second. There was like a pause. <laughs> Nobody knew what was going on. Right, yeah, it just lasted a little too We're long. We're just waiting for it to crash. <laughs> uh, come on, super, super computer. Do we have enough to do them all in the menu? Uh, yeah, there's five set up here right now. Okay, hey, I'm, I'm game. I'm, I'm definitely game. You're going to have to sort of you're gonna have to make sure you have to kind of scoot, sit on the edge. Well, that yeah, won't work. She can just hop on right, right in the center. Sit right between. And can somebody give me another... Nico, swing. Go yeah, a little this way. And then there you go. You guys can share that one. Actually, that go works. right in between Anthrax and them. And then, yeah. Nico. Can guys, you can't know my real name. I, nobody knows my name's Mike Bo. Hold, hold on, hold on. I, 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 I've been asking for five minutes, and no one is. Uh, can someone please hand me two of those, please? Thank you. No, Buddha, no, I, I, no. I've just no. been trying to get that hammered out. Oh, you do have them. Okay, he, okay. He does. I got you. There we go. He does. This is a little game that we love to play here. Yes. It's called Poles or Holes, or Pole and Hole, or Frog in a Pond. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's kind of weird. You were like, should I, what, what, what's, what was that? You smiled and you went. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ADD. I'm Is not that what it was? I was like, thinking about monkeys with symbols right, right now. Like, yeah. Last yeah. summer, I don't know. Excellent. There's nothing wrong with a little ADD. Nothing wrong with a little ADD. And we're going to play. Now, this is very simple. This is, this is real simple. We're going to show a photo. You at home are going to watch this, too, and you can you can score yourself at home. We're going to keep the photo up for 30 seconds for analyzing. Maybe a minute. All depends. However... I don't however, think it needs to be up that long. However, okay, 30 seconds. Yeah, that's probably better. And I'm going to time it on my space phone. I mean, you know, if, if we need a minute to decide, that can work. Buddha, know, this but, is one of those new iPhones. An iPhone? What's that? It's by Apple. Huh. I've never heard of Apple. And they have you apps do? on it, and we're going to talk a little bit about... <laughs> see the segue? Yeah, that was we're nice. Gonna talk a bit. That was a little early for the uh, segue, though. We're, we're, we got the technology. We're working on the terms. I'm just going to be over here drinking cold. <laughs> <Yeah. up. laughs> this is going to be real simple. We're going to show the photo. You have 30 seconds to decide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we have, of course, who's all playing. We have Anthrax. We have Cat. We have Nico. We have Buddha. We have right. Terra. Terra is our reigning loser. Is that, <laughs> I mean, is that yeah. what we call it? I mean, yeah, pretty much. Or, or, it's not 
raining shameful it's not, bastards? It's, that's, I don't really know. No, there's no winning yeah. when you're losing in the game of transsexuality. <laughs> uh, and we're going to go right down the line. You ready to go? Let's see that sweet intro for us. Yeah. Right then, when it comes on, we should all change tats. <laughs> or thrown some chiffon on. Yeah, right. <laughs> I should have been shirtless, but there was no camera on me, so it didn't matter. <laughs> He's so weird with this camera thing. But it's okay. He, he, he just picks one and lets it ride. It's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, you have two sets of cards in front of you. You have the pole or the hole. If you'd like to, and Anthrax doesn't want to share. It's okay. That's okay. Dubs. I think without review, we go we go ahead and do this right now. now we, let me turn down the music. Or is there a way that you can loop the music from the intro? Can you loop that intro? You can't loop that playing? Uh, I think try. Go ahead, try that for a second. Because oh, okay. I think that yeah. music's pretty beautiful. I'm just scared about, about what's about to happen. Because we're having j do something in the middle. Too much. Or by, by the end. Oh. You think? Yeah. There we go. Is, is it looping? Yeah, but it, it ends. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Oh. Uh, We'll have to get a loop of that. Yeah, just a loop of that would be fair. That would be good for the the thing. So let's go out and play Jank Dubs, Dubless, Dubarama, Dub 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 Dubless. Go ahead, show them photo number one. This is photo number one. one. You can look closer to the monitor. You can get up close and dirty with it. Buddha, what are you thinking? Well, should we go to Buddha first? Let's go to Buddha first. 30 seconds. You still have 15 seconds to make your decide. Okay, I mean... It, it, obviously, it looks like a girl, but she's really overselling the girl thing with all the pink and okay, everything. Okay. So I'm kind of scared, but those eyebrows are pretty. Those are those are r- vicious. Okay. So those are, yeah, that's... Ladies and gentlemen, on the count of three, show your card of what you think it is. Oh, is everybody ready? Everybody has a mindset? Yeah, whatever. Three, two, one, show your card. Okay. So go ahead and show them what we're really looking at here. Oh, Keep your cards up. Keep your cards up. Yeah, look, mine's on the. Nice. So. I didn't even know what I did. So. There was just too much. He was trying. Or he was trying to sell it way too much. Way too much. Way That's the reason. Yeah. So anthrax is now negative one. Cat would be plus one. Amos plus one. Buddha Nico <laughs> is plus one. <laughs> Buddha is plus one. And Tara is again in the <laughs> He's negative starting off one. strong. He is with a good lead. I'm not going to talk shit because I'll end up wearing that damn cape. Yes, you <laughs> will. And there he goes for the cold cock <laughs> to drown his transsexual <laughs> traumas into things. Uh, Let's go. Did we get it all in there? You got it all in there? Wow, it takes forever to do this menu. Yeah, it really does. It's like ordering at a Quiznos. <laughs> Dude, holy one. Okay, number two, ladies and gentlemen. We got number two here. By the way, that last person, just so you know, keep number two up. Mm-hmm. That's Jennifer Paris. She is known as the world's most beautiful transsexual escort, and she comes complete with a seven-inch uncut, 100% fully functional <laughs> secret. Oh. That's not a secret. I wouldn't do it no. now. No. Uh, you, you, I you do a tranny? Yeah. Okay. I think I could have sex with that. Would you have a sex with that? Okay. I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't be able to see her anymore. <laughs> one of our one of our uh, one of our other Wolfpack girls, a good friend of ours, she's a sweetheart, uh, Roxy Rocks. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's doing her thing in Colorado and yeah. California, and she just did some scenes with a tranny. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, she did great. Right. She did tran- yeah. fa- she did fantastic. <laughs> I'll coin it, fantastic. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Hmm. We're gonna count it down. They've got thirty seconds. You keep it score there, Dubs. You're gonna hold up your card to what you think it is. Three, two, one. What are we looking at? Uh. Man, I'm probably. Oh man, all the girls are going with that. You, one. you have to do that faster, but then again, he can't hear three, two, one. Uh, go ahead and show them what we got here. That's oh, right, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. We are looking at Lisa Ann, a very famous porn star who's known for playing uh, Sarah Palin, who you and I actually met at the AVNs. And I guessed wrong. Yeah. Yes, yes. Wow, that's I crazy. So <laughs> we <we've> got <laughs> Anthrax. What did you have up? Yeah, no, all, all the girls had, they had all had holes. Yeah, the guy's got this one wrong. Okay, how confused is Dub going to get with the scoring? Oh, he's already, he's done. <laughs> he's done. He's done. He's You're good? He's already confused with spelling my name, so. Uh, you, just, you just deal with it. It happens. It's it's a fun place to be. I think I think Kat's been drinking a little bit too much cold cocktail. <laughs> uh, okay, so why is Anthrax and Buddha at zero? I know you're you went negative. Because we were negative. Okay, okay, okay. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. 
I thought one. Well, Buddha lost that one, though, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, so that brought you back that down to zero. Back to zero. Yeah. Okay. See, I wrote these rules, and I don't even understand them. Are we good to go? Yeah. Don't over talk. Don't talk over everybody else. You talk a lot. Shush. Don't make me banish her, Buddha. I'll banish her. <laughs> I mean, you got to do what you got to do. They'll go back to the go corner. Back to the corner. <laughs> it will happen. Let's give them number three, ladies and gentlemen. Dub, Dublis three. Dublis, what are, this, is a, this is a person. Uh, Clearly a person. It might be Britney Spears. I don't know. I like the gold dress. I like the lays. I like the... Uh, I, I'm having harder... Like I'm having a lot more trouble this time around. I don't know what You are is. having trouble. Are you a bit... Uh, you uh, Is there something going on in your home life we need to know about? <laughs> I mean, there is. Right? But, I mean... <laughs> How about Stern always said, when you make it, when you put it public on radio... Right, right, right. It makes it better. <laughs> Probably not. He's also been Probably divorced not. three yeah. times. <laughs> like, so that formula might not work very well. Uh, <laughs> is it hard, Anthrax? What are you thinking? Oh, no. I'm going no, it's Buddha hard. Oh. <laughs> I was asking you... Nico is boot hard. You're next to him. Ask him. Or, that uh, what? <laughs> what? What? Hard? Hand. Blame it on the AED. <laughs> I think it's a time. Where I am think I? it's time. I think, go back to the photo. Go back to the photo. You took the photo down. She was like, go ahead, ladies and gentlemen. You tell us what you think. Three, two, one. Tell us. Poll, 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 and hole. Ladies and gentlemen, Dublis, reveal who you have. Oh, wow, it's like waiting for fucking Melissa. Uh, That's right. Oh, there he is. Yeah, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at a gentleman by the name of, well, it's Courtney Act. She is an Australian drag queen. His real name is Shane Jenkin. She or he was a semifinalist on the Australian Teen Idol 2003. Oh, wow. Well, there so, you go. And he's a, he's a, he's a dapper looking gentleman. He's on RuPaul's Drag Race. Is he also on RuPaul's That's Drag Race? Well, I guess they probably pull from Australia. It's kind of like the farm league for tra- transsexuals, from what I'm understanding. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's a real statement I don't or not. Know no. I know nothing about Australia. Nothing at all. Other than there's a whole lot of koalas and they're dangerous. And they're, they're fucking. They're, they're, I think there's a term for that too. It's like the koala drop. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about it's the koala. A, drop. Do you ever hear of the koala drop? <laughs> no. What? Google that. It's it's a. <laughs> it's supposedly. I don't know if it's called the koala, koala drop or not. It's it's something like that, and it's what Australians do to fuck with Americans. Okay. And Americans are like, and they're like Kevin Smith fell for it this whole big time about like this koala, and you're looking for it, mm-hmm. and there's a whole story that goes along, and everybody falls for it. It's kind of like where the the camel bit you I story, you. Right, 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 or like the our president's from America story that we keep using, because <laughs> right. we all know that didn't work. We got the scores. What do we got? We got Terror at a negative three. Oh my god! I Anthrax really like at the one. <laughs> <laughs> Buddha at one. Nico's at three and Cats at three. This is this is running pretty pretty smooth. Can we, Tara just wear the cape of shame or thing of shame now? <laughs> can we just call it quits? No, no. Don't get cocky. Trust don't, me. Don't, yeah, the yeah. things can change real Next quick thing you here. Know, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Anything can happen in the game of pull and hole. Like <laughs> Nick, cut me. Sorry, just I went somewhere else with that one. Let's show up number four. They're double only. The San Francisco treat. Double only. Look at this. This this fine oh. specimen. Just check out those hands, though. Yeah, yeah. Buddha, but keep in mind, I can stack the deck. You know, there's yeah, look. exactly. Like you well, th- it's a spoiler. I'm talking about what I'm looking at here. You thought like, Lisa- I, I got to think this out. You thought Lisa Ann, her beautiful heart. How many times I've jerked off to Lisa <laughs> Ann was a man. No, I know okay. this, is, this is this is getting difficult. It, I, I'm learning. I'm learning the ropes. I have a mentor on the, <laughs> <laughs> and it's also Mick for rocking. It's it's the <laughs> weirdest part about that. That's the strangest part. So, you know, Anthrax, what are you thinking there? I mean, what do you, what's going through your mind? Is that what you're thinking, Hole? What, 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 do you, what makes you think that? What's, what's the deciding factor? I don't know. I just have a feeling. You just have a gut feeling I... there's, there's a hole in that, in that their bucket? Yeah. Okay. Cat? I'm going with Hole. Okay. Adam's Nico, what are you thinking? I think Pole. Okay, so let's, let's just go ahead and reveal it. Three, two, one. Give us what you got. All right. I'm, I'm the only yes. one. Okay. It is pull. You got to hold up your card. Yeah, I'm the only one that did it, I think. Oh, uh, no. Jay did, too. Yes. So who do we got? We got God and score that right there. That is poll. What you're looking at, this is this is very interesting. This is Jennifer Leeham. Okay. She is a fa- he, she is a famous musician and a double bass player. Also being known as a left-handed, her nickname, his nickname is Lefty or Southpaw. His real name is Jonathan Leeham, and he's best known for works with Mel Torme and Doc Severson. It is actually in the Doc Severson band that used to play on Tonight Show. Really? There you go. Oh, wow. So tell me there's no famous trannies. Right? Other than porn stars. Those hands are fucking monstrous. <laughs> I just can't, that's all I see in the damn picture. But how do you know it's not just from Sweet Bass playing? 
It makes her hands grow? Sure. Like, <laughs> sure. That and lobster fishing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure how that works. You got the score up there, Douglas? Or are you too busy paying attention to the funny stuff going on over here? Nice. Who is it? Oh, my God, Tara. <laughs> <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> I don't want to say anything here. Oh, Tara, but, man, Tara. But maybe we'll get you. Maybe. Maybe there could be a third competition on the netting game at the gathering. <laughs> <laughs> we could have the men versus women, women versus men, and then we could have uh, anything goes on the stage. Yeah. No? It wouldn't be technically oh. called a netting game. It would be called it would just have to go the mystery game. game. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, surprise you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. Let's go ahead and give them number five there on the board. Double Roni, the San Francisco treat. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Number five. Oh, she's cute. Looking nice dress, you know, bricks. <laughs> um, it is what it is. I know Dublis is... Uh, uh, either way it floated, you know Dubs would have sex with it. You know? Man, I this, probably would. this one's a tough one. There's a lot of tough this ones, is? though. This is definitely a lot harder than the last. This no. is getting... I mean, this is... I know. If you're judging at home, let me know what you're scoring. Hit us at, uh, at on the Facebook, Facebook slash Wolfpack, or on our Twitter, at Twitter. We got... Uh, we got our main man right here, Tara Manning, the Twitter. Anybody scoring? Anybody playing at home? I think they should be playing with us. Mal Havoc, how are you doing? Because I know he's probably yeah, watching right, this right, going, right. fuck, I'm at like negative four, too. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is the thing that brings it up. Yeah, there's all our stuff. You can hit us on all those things, all those places. The wolf pack thing and the stuff and the other guy stuff. Wait. Should we do the, uh, let's do the three, two, one. Show us, ladies and gentlemen, who do, what do you think you got? <laughs> Oh, like, oh don't show it yet. Nervous. You got to make sure they all have their cards up, Tara. <laughs> Am I the only one doing this? Like <laughs> All cards up? Show uh, them what we got there, Dublis. I think I'm wrong. I do think I'm wrong. That is a poll. I knew it. <laughs> that is correct. Fucking knew it. That is correct. <laughs> like, you were looking at a, a gentleman, a born Gian Lorginio. He is a British reality TV show best known for a transgender, winning the transgender Big Brother in 2004. I didn't know that existed. No one did. <laughs> like, it was only broadcasted on, on VHS. I, I, I was thinking poll, but I was like, uh, you know what? There's been a whole lot of polls. Let me just go with the whole. Right. Thing, man. <laughs> didn't happen for Right. Me. I was going to get kind of when you look at it, it kind of looks like uh, uh, what's that? What's that girl's name? The actress who's out of her mind all the time. Tara Reid. Tara Reid meets Amanda Bynes meets um, oh, okay, Lizzie okay, Lohan. Okay. It kind of has that vibe, right? <laughs> Like if Somewhere, they all yeah, like yeah, had yeah. a kid or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can't you can't go against the boobs because all the all the girls have boob jobs that look that bad too. I mean, oh, we've all been in those strip clubs, including myself. We know, <laughs> like they just <laughs> placed yeah, boobs. Yeah, I was just gonna say I can lick them and stick on one. Suck Why don't those titties? move? That's the strangest thing. <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's go to what are we at? Number six, correct? correct. Let's go right to number six, Double Roni, the San Francisco <laughs> treat. There we go. Number six is a good one. Another good one. Because we're mixing the box up. Doublus is looking. He's like, what's going on? Man. And now score-wise, we've got Terra at a negative five, Anthrax at a negative one. I can't tell Nico's because it's in a butt. We've got three. <laughs> we got Buddha with a one and Cat with a four. She's got a, an incredible tranny radar. It's, well, it's, un it's uncanny. The problem that J-Dub's having right now is the score is that all the lovely ladies beside me are not holding the cards up long enough for him to right. know what's going Just on. Just make sure you hold them up. Make sure you hold them up, ladies and gentlemen. You got another five seconds here. Yeah, I guess, man. N Nico, what are you thinking right now? I mean, what's in your mind? Don't tell me what you're voting. Just tell me what you're thinking. It Airplanes. Looks, apple I, juice. <laughs> Airplane, apple, um, how shiny this room is. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> hmm. um, I don't know. You like, don't, you're just dumbfounded at this point. This kind of looks like a really bad, like, this may be like 2005 Britney porn star doppelganger. Maybe? Okay, okay. Man. Go ahead, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hold up your cards. Let's see what you got. Uh, Everybody, let's vote it through. Whatever. Don't show. Do, keep it up until they, they show you the thing. Okay. You see what they have? Go ahead. Give them the. Everybody, keep your cards up. Give them the unveil. Go on my number. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Dub. Show them what they got. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> You're actually looking at Nikki Tyler, porn star and ex-lover of Jenna Jameson, one of the biggest pornographic actors from the year of 1990 all the way up to 1995, and she was a penthouse pet for 1995. Ah, uh, see, yeah. Uh, 
I don't remember the, the 90 95 years too well. It's funny because uh, <laughs> one of the times where we had Jenna come down in Reading, right, right. Nikki came and you you, you and Spoonie uh, perchance met her. Wow. She was at the uh, High Easter's Lane show with us. Oh, wow. Yes. She also Jeez. gets very drunk. And she goes by the nickname of Gladys when she gets drunk. <laughs> awesome. And she gets in fights. So me and we and a gentleman by the name of Troy Henson, a good friend, yeah, yeah, good guy, uh, would go drinking with them. Mm-hmm. And uh, Gladys would come out at the bar. Okay. And that was when it was time to go because she was going to pick a fight with like a Reading local. Oh, okay. Because she, she, she would appear at Diamond, as Al's right. Diamond Cabaret, a little plug for Al. God bless Al and his, <laughs> and his Diamond Cabaret. And the other thing I know about her is when uh, she was in a hotel room, her and some guy she found at the strip club, Went into the bathroom and shat on each other huh. until they looked like they were like covered in spirit and shit. Where the room had to basically everybody had to leave the room. Oh wow! Yeah, it was just the most vile <laughs> thing I've ever seen in my life, and that's that's a bold statement for me, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> everyone has their thing. And apparently, shit is Nikki Tyler's thing. She is since retired, but she is a beautiful girl. She's a good people. I think she has a chicken farm or something in some <laughs> some town now. Moving on to number seven, Dubberoni, the San Francisco treat again. Another tough one for the ladies and gentlemen. The score is amazing. It is negative six, zero, zero, four, and five. Man. Terror is just... <laughs> Terror, you are just winning at, at training stuff. You may not want to drink when you go out in public. Just yeah. putting it out there for you. Right. I'm just trying to help. I just now, avoid going out in public. <laughs> you got a drink in the hand. You got some fun jeans. Is it a guy that they dressed up? You know, did the girlfriends dress up the guy? Uh, those hair extensions, or is she just a really into weightlifting? What's going on in the mind of this person? Uh, man. There is a golf cart, it looks like, behind them. Could she have been at the gathering? Probably not, because we all would have tried to have sex with it. Is that oh. a teal to kill her after she got shit thrown at her? <laughs> no, 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 no. That was, that was oh, priceless, man. too. Uh, it's a tough one, right? This is difficult. Let me ask you, Jay, because let's use you as the litmus test. What are you thinking as you look at this picture? I'm not sure. Okay. Because okay. I've been wrong so many times <laughs> now. I, just I would think I would know. go with the George Costanza <laughs> philosophy. That if I was like, that's clearly a chick, I would vote dude. And if I went, yeah. that's clearly a dude, I'd vote chick. I got to say, though, I've been doing that method. Right? And I got the, the two the ones I've fail. gotten wrong so yeah, far. I've been doing worked. that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's put up your cards, Wolfpack members, and see what we got here. Whatever. <laughs> pull, 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 hole. Go ahead and go to the unveil for them. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Hole. You were looking at Felicia Herring. She is an up-and-coming UFC fighter. She is the number one fighter to contend. She is actually going to be fighting this weekend on UFC 475 or whatever the <laughs> fucking one is. But she is brutal. She's actually a really cool person. But boy, she does look she does look manly. I was looking at the side. Like yeah, the that's, side. What, I yeah, that's what I was looking at. at. Yeah. Google Google Felicia Herring and see what's going on. She actually is a number one American kickboxing and Muay Thai fighter. Hmm. Uh, she is. Uh, she sold. She just signed a multi deal with the UFC. Oh. I so. take back my Tequila Tequila comment. Yes, please don't <laughs> kick my ass, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Felicia no, Herring. I don't know her. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. I told. I said Holt. I said, <laughs> you did. You got it all right. <laughs> and Terry got one right. <laughs> Oh, my, God. <laughs> oh my <laughs> word. That's hope for you yet, sir. <laughs> it's a small glimmer of hope. <laughs> yeah. After a whole lot of cock, but it's cool, dude. <laughs> it's weird, dude. It's weird. <laughs> Let's go to number eight there, Double Roni. <laughs> number eight, man. It's it's number eight. Apparently, I'm going through puberty. <laughs> there we go. Another hard one, another tough one, and possibly a hard one and a tough one at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 try like, I try to find somewhere to go with. Like, I'm looking at the arm, and the arm tells me I want to say it's a dude. Right. But every time but I've done that, I've that. been wrong. You just saw the other dude <laughs> yeah. a minute ago. Who was Shaq Fu? <laughs> Without being Shaq Fu. It's, 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 this is a tough one. Anthrax, what's going through your head? Without showing your cards, what's going through your head? Tell me. Her stomach looks weird. Her stomach On looks the strange. Left. Okay. Okay. Maybe she just had a baby. Maybe she has. Maybe those are her tiger, her tiger stripes. But the, I don't know. The faces don't look the same. That's the same girl, guy, thing, shim. Could go either way. Oh, I won't give you a tell. Trust me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's throw your cards. What do you got on the deck for us? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I love that cat's holding hers upside down. <laughs> I just can't believe she's gone, like, what? She hasn't got one wrong yet. Yeah, 9 for yeah. 9, 10 for 10, whatever. Uh, Doublish, show them what they got. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's it's like thirty dollars, like twenty minutes into the bit, and he gets it. He nails it. He's like waiting. This is this is the one. <laughs> You're looking at the number one grossing Brazilian transsexual porn star, Thyrius something with an S. Don't know. Huh. And again, a six inch uncut functioning rod. That's what it, that's what's on his uh, page. Never seen a that. woman what? <laughs> Par- don't hit the, the microphone. Oh. oh, well, they're tucked. They're tucked. Like. She's tucked and tucked. But I'm saying. <laughs> Let's go to number. Where are we at? Number nine. Nine. Number. Uh, with scores. Where are we at? Oh wow. So terror is six. Anthrax is zero. Buddha is negative two. <laughs> Buddha. I'm telling you, it's <laughs> not my day, six. man. God. I'm not a negative six though. That's no, no, you're not a negative six. That's that's pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> we got we got here. It's got a nice blue shot. Good looking person. See it in the bar. The tans maybe too much. Not their face. You guys playing at home. I mean, what do you think it is? It, does it got a dick or does it have a hole? What's you know? It could go either way. Now I'd ask Dubs, but we all know Dubs is <laughs> anything goes policy. <laughs> uh, and uh, we also know his you know some of his dark secrets. <laughs> Peanut, butter Peanut butter in prison. <laughs> <laughs> to put the jelly on the hole. That's all I'm saying. Uh, it's a pizza bagel? Oof, that's horrifying. I don't even want to know what that is. I feel uncomfortable now. I that, do. That takes a lot. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, I feel like I want to shower. Yeah. Like, yeah. Really far away from him. <laughs> You're very far away. All right, gentlemen, ladies, ladies, bugs and bees, let's hold up your card. What do you got? What are you voting? Go ahead. Polls across the board. Sure Show them what they got. Are we all wrong? That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> Bum, 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 yeah! bum. That is really? Julia Marie Maroscope. She is the Olympic really? gold medalist for America in the Alpine ski race. Really? She actually won 2010, 2006, 2014. All of them combined, all the way up to the World Cup. She holds four Olympic medals for the most events in any one woman for any American. Hmm. And she's a chick. See, the, what, what I was thinking, Paul, was how her legs are crossed. Sure. There's room. Yeah. Uh, when a girl's do that, it's usually a lot tighter and yeah. not like very like, oh, whatever. I like, look at that and I just I see dude, too. I got to admit it. I mean, I see dude. Yeah, yeah I was looking yeah, at her yeah. hips because yeah. 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 her hips yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Flush. Yeah. yeah, it's all wrong. 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 What are the score at now? What do we got? <laughs> Terror <laughs> day <Dana> seven. <laughs> <laughs> we all stop and look at him like, what? I just like the cape. Leave me alone. <laughs> Are you just you're just losing it for the cape? <laughs> Let's give him number ten, big man. Let's show him what we got. Last, Uh-oh. last, last, last one. Last round. Last one, man. This is where you can redeem yourself. This is, other than heroin, <laughs> it does those look hands. like a junkie. Look at those hands. Look at those hands. Sure, the, but you the know. last time I did that, didn't I get it wrong? Yeah, two <laughs> times in a row we looked at the hands. <laughs> Wasn't it, this person was in a few movies too. What like kind of stupid, movies? Like scary movies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like this, what is that they can show on TV? I've seen. I'm pretty this sure. is this is a person in the media. It is it is someone in the media. Hmm. Uh, it it has done some crossover stuff. I mean, but it it I doesn't tell you what That's gender it is. <laughs> it's interesting though. I mean, the gold dress. If I was in a bar and I saw that in the gold dress, yeah, like yeah, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't think. I wouldn't think. Oh, there's a dick there. Buddha, let's let's be honest. I'm not bragging. I've went home with worse. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Not right, with a dick right, though. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the dick. That's the that's the difference. Well, I, I don't know what I'm going with here, but all I know is that no matter what I pick, mm-hmm. I'm not at a negative seven, so I'm okay. good. So you're good. <laughs> so okay. I mean, I'm just, I can go with whatever right now. Okay. I feel confident there. Ladies and germs, hold up your cards. What do you got? What are you <sighs> thinking? Go ahead and show him Dublis. That's right. It's a poll yeah. again. Ah! No. It's a poll Turk again. It's the very last one. <laughs> You're looking at Jenna Rachel. She has been in a bunch of crossover movies. She started as a, porn, a transsexual porn star, and she's crossed over to a lot of weird, like, black comedies, like Soul Plane and such. Oh, okay. Uh, and, was she uh, in Soul Plane? Because I've seen that. I don't know if she was in actually Soul Plane, but she's in a lot of those, like, you know, mm-hmm. movie by Scotty Brothers, you know, gotcha, like, gotcha. like kind of horrible stuff. Let's tally up the score. Let's go ahead and bring it back just to the room. Let's see where we're at. Huh? Uh, I got Buddha's it wrong. Bona got it wrong. Yeah, we all, we all went with God, pull off the photo. I want to see the room so I can read Yeah, it. we can't see the scores. All right. So go. we got Tara with a negative six. <laughs> Anthrax with an even zero. 
Put it with a negative four. Yes. <laughs> Still means four. I got, what, six right. I got with a six. <laughs> Give it up, ladies and gentlemen. Tara <laughs> wins the Cape of Shame again. Yeah, Tara. <laughs> Go ahead and talk that. There needs to be, God, play the play the music for now. Don't play the music for now. <laughs> there should be some sort of horns or winner thing you were going to work on and you totally forgot because you slept. Do you remember that? Yeah. No, no. You were supposed to figure out something on the screen, remember? I said, like, like what we do it. Yes. Yes. Because he didn't run it down. Oh, there it is. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you nailed it, Jay. <laughs> Terror, you did great. Terror, you did fantastic. You did fantastic. Do you have any, being that you're now <laughs> the rating champion, do you have anything you'd like to say to your public, to your fans? To your fans out there that want to know what you have to say about this. Don't bring me to the bar, please. <laughs> <laughs> Just let you stay in here. There you go. Suck it down with a little cold cock. Yeah. Let, it, let it sink in. Oh. You know what's going to be funny is now from the studio, none of us are going to be able to drive home. Yeah, right? No, like, we'll just have to sit here yeah. like for like an hour and hang out. Like, can we get pizza? Oh, fuck, it's 11 o'clock. Can't order anything. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise for polls, which holes. We'll bring it back for the next show, no mm -hmm, doubt. Mm -hmm. Coming up, we got a lot of fun, too. I think we got what's coming up next is uh, Five Minutes of Murder. All uh, right, detail Arthur Shorecross, a brutal man. We're going to come back. We're going to talk about some other stuff. We're going to talk about our apps. We're going to talk about Juggle of Dodgeball. We've got Anthrax coming up. we got Culinary Bits. we got a lot of great stuff coming up. Stay tuned right here. Wolfpack Super Deluxe Fun Time right now on Psychopathic Radio. Yo. You're watching the Super Deluxe Fun Time Radio on Psychopathic Radio. Hosted by the Wolfpack. A 31-year-old man who admitted to killing victims in his apartment, then dismembering their bodies, may have murdered up to 17 people. A serial killer is on the loose in the Daytona area. Investigators are on the trail of a possible serial killer. A stunning claim from an accused killer awaiting trial in Pennsylvania. And authorities believe they could very well have a serial killer in custody. And they say it may be the work of a serial killer. An accused serial killer in Welcome to 5 Minutes of Murder. As always, I'm your host, Daddy Lowlace. On each and every episode, we'll be featuring a different serial killer, studying their behaviors, and trying to find out what it is exactly that makes these guys tick. On this episode, we will be profiling Arthur Shaw Cross, also known as the Monster of the River, a murderer, a rapist, and a cannibal who was responsible for the death of at least 13 people between the years of 1972 and 1990. I can be your worst nightmare. There is a monster inside me. I took it upon myself to seek and destroy. When I get mad, this chemical that's inside my head, whatever part of my body, elevates and I just lose control. And it brings on this sweating and other sensations. There's something inside me that is hidden. But it only comes out in certain moments. Arthur was born in Kittery, Maine. He was a small baby due to the fact that he was born two months premature. After his birth, his family soon packed up and moved to Watertown, New York. From the get-go, something seemed to be very off about Arthur. When he was first enrolled in school by the third grade, all of his classes he was receiving A's and B's in. Later that same year, when given an IQ test, he scored an 86. As a young boy, he was a frequent bedwetter, and he had a dominating mother who he claimed would stick foreign objects in his anus. Also, also, that his aunt sexually molested him when he was only nine, nine that, that he had, had a sexual relation with his younger sister. He also admitted to having his first homosexual encounter at the age of 11. Though his sexual escapades were not limited to humans, he claimed he also had sex with animals. In particular, cows, sheep, a horse, and he killed a chicken while having intercourse with it. Clearly, this was a messed up home life to say the least. In, in April, April 1967, 1967, Arthur was drafted by the U.S. Army at the age of 21, in which he served one tour of duty in Vietnam. He boasted of grotesque combat exploits such as beheading Mama Sons and nailing their heads to trees to warn the Viet Cong. When I came out of Vietnam, I left on October 31st, following the day. The Army taught you how to kill, didn't teach you how to stop, or the desire to do so. He would later blame his gruesome experiences in, in Vietnam, Vietnam for, for the murders that, that he would do many, many, many years later. later. Although there was, there was one big problem with that, Arthur, Arthur never actually saw a day of combat. After, after his discharge from the Army, Shawcross moved from Oklahoma back to New York. 
he be, where he began committing such crimes as arson and burglary. Charcross then returned directly to Watertown, eventually getting a job within the Watertown Public Works Department and marrying for a third time, like a gal. Then, on April 7, 1972, he sexually assaulted and murdered 10-year-old Jack Owen Blake. After luring the boy into the woods in Watertown, he was found in September in a shallow grave outside the town, beaten to death and sexually abused. Sharcroft had taken the boy and his older brother fishing just days before this disappearance. The boy's mother suspected Sharcroft, but no evidence pointed to his guilt. Therefore, the police were unable to connect Sharcroft to the disappearance. I caused his death. I'm not going to cry about it. It's just something that happened at that time. I didn't go seeking him to destroy him. I got mad at that moment, and I told him. She's got to go home. And she said, no, you know, Kurt's going home. And I hit it right there in the throat. Broke up the larynx, whatever, and died instantly. On September 2nd, Shortcroft again killed and raped eight year old Karen Ann Hill, who was visiting the area with her mother for Labor Day weekend. She was found four days before they found Jack Lake's body. She, she was brutally raped, raped and suffocated with grass stuffed, stuffed in her nose and her mouth. Her, her body discarded beneath a bridge spanning under the Black River. Shortcroft was immediately a suspect. He was known for troubles with the neighborhood's children. In fact, just recently paying a fine for spanking some boy, a young boy, and stuffing grass into his pants. Now, residents seem to remember seeing Sharkoff with Karen Hill on the day that she vanished, and one of the people who reported that seeing Arthur eating ice cream on the very same bridge that the bodies were discovered. Arthur was arrested on October 3, 1972, and confessed to both murders. Under the terms of a plea bargain, he agreed to reveal the location of Blake's body. In return, he was permitted to plead guilty to a lesser charge of manslaughter in the Hill case. All the other charges were dropped, and he was never actually charged with the murder of 10-year-old uh, Jack Owen Blake. Which is a shame. Had he been convicted of a capital offense in Watertown, and had he received the punishment for that capital offense, we know one thing for sure, that uh, 11 women that he admitted killing would still be alive today. Arthur received a 25-year sentence at Green Haven Correctional Facility. And after 12 years of that sentence, Due, due to an inexperienced prison staff and social, social workers disregarding warnings by the psychiatrist who had assessed Sharkoff as being a schizophrenic psychopath, it was concluded that he was no longer dangerous, and he was released on parole in April 1987. Lucky us. In terms of his release, I think his release was a mistake, clearly. Uh, but, but it's very difficult. The people that made that decision uh, are judged uh, by what we call here uh, Monday morning quarterbacks. People, people that look after the fact and say, she, she didn't make the right call. Uh, in addition, they rely upon psychiatric testimony. And, and frankly, while uh, uh, the psychiatrists try their best, uh, they perhaps are still working more as an art than a science. Now that he was free, Arthur found more permanent lodgings at the New Main Brownstone Apartments on Alexander Street in Rochester, New York, a building which still stands today. In, in March of 1988, Sharkoff began, began a murder again. His primary targets now would be prostitutes. It wouldn't take long before a party of hunters who were hunting near the Juicy River Gorge saw what looked like a mannequin in the water. Upon a closer look, it revealed the face of a woman wearing jeans and a sweatshirt. Authorities were called in, and the woman was soon identified as Dorothy Blackburn. A 27-year-old drug addict, she had been reported missing a few days earlier by her sister. Her body had been severely traumatized. She suffered multiple bruises and multiple bites in and around her genital area. Horse capture on January 5, 1990, less than two years later, Arthur Sharkoff would go on to brutally rape and kill ten more women. One body was dropped off over a bridge in Salmon Creek. The second one was struck, struck in the head with a little log. The, the third, third one, one was strangulation at the driving park, park area. area. The, the, the fourth, fourth one was, was near, near the YMCA. YMCA. When, when I was, when I was killing, killing these girls, girls, I had, I had the thing where I would push, push it away, away like, like it never happened. happened. 
And that would carry on, on like nothing, nothing ever happened. Upon, Upon his arrest, arrest Sharkoff bragged, bragged about how violent he killed his victims, victims, slicing them and eating their vulvas of police, three of them. them. But, he but he refused to discuss anything of his earlier claims about eating the genitals of his first victim, Jack Blake. Somebody said, Rudy, that that tendons where I dragged him. I didn't, I didn't pick, pick them up. up. I, only I only picked up one and piloted her about, about maybe 400 feet over. 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 But the other one, I just dragged, dragged by, by the, the hair, hair. hair. Back, back in the brush. brush. I, had I had one, one girl, girl tell, tell me why, why I was starting, starting to, to strangle, strangle her. She, she said, I know who you are. are. At, At that, that moment, I didn't, I didn't care, care no more. One, one girl, girl she, she bit, bit me, you know, and, and asked, why'd why you bite, bite me? Because yeah, I wanted, wanted to. You know, and, and I smacked, I smacked her around, around a little bit, bit you know, and, and she, she smiles, smiles you know, like, like she enjoyed, enjoyed it. it. And then, then that sensation, sensation where, where I started sweating, sweating and, and the, the starlight of the area, area I, just I just lost control, control at that moment. And choked, choked her to death. Now, now it's, it's difficult, difficult to, to strangle, strangle somebody, somebody quickly, quickly. Can't, can't be done. done. Now, you, now, you may see people on TV and in movies and stuff where, where they're, they're strangling somebody, somebody and less than 10, 10 seconds, seconds later they drop off on the floor. floor. It can't, can't be, done be done like that. Like that. Now, usually, usually the human body can, can hold, hold their breath for four, four minutes, sometimes four, four and a half, five minutes. minutes. But I can't, I can't really, really tell how long I squeezed them. I'd say, I'd say we were four, four to ten, ten minutes. In November, In November 1990, Shorecross was tried for ten of eleven murders. murders. He, he pled, pled not guilty by reason of insanity. insanity. It, took it took the jury under six, six hours to convict Arthur, Arthur after, after a three-month three long trial. What helped help bring in such a quick conviction? The extremely detailed confessions by Arthur, including a bunch of overwhelmingly gruesome information. The judge, the judge sentenced him to 250 years in prison, and a few, and a few months, months later, later he was again tried for the, for the one, one remaining murder, which he pleaded guilty to him and received a life sentence. Was, was he a nice guy? guy? I was, I was arrested, arrested for 11, 11 homicides that, that they found, found which, which they, they said or claimed zero, zero killing. killing. Do, do people, people in general, me, me as the type, type of person, person I, I am, I can, I can be your worst nightmare, nightmare. Or, or I can, I can be man next door. door. Now, now convicted, Arthur, Arthur was held at the Sullivan Correctional, Correctional Facility in Fallsburg, New York. New York. Well, serving, serving out a sentence, he remained busy as he was found himself selling his, his paintings and his, and his autographs on the internet to all of his admirers, admirers right, right there, there from the walls of his prison cell. There, there he stayed at that facility until he died on November 10th, 2008 at the, at the Albany Medical Center, Center due to a cardiac, cardiac arrest. arrest. After, After which time his body was then cremated and his ashes, ashes were given to either a friend or a family member who wished, who wished to remain nameless. Wonder, wonder who that was. was. So, there so there you have it, folks. Arthur Sharpcross. Truly an American monster if there ever was one. I hope, I hope you enjoyed this time riding in hell. hell. Well, that's, well, that's it, it for this installment of 5 Minutes of Murder. I hope, I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed it. Make sure, Make sure you, you remember to lock your windows and doors because you never know when your 5 Minutes may be up. Peace. We are coming to you live and direct from Suckle by the Radio, coming through the Wolfpack Super Deluxe Fun Time Variety Hour. Make some noise, motherfuckers. We're having a good time. I don't know what's going on. We had a little bit of a weird echo on some of our bits. I'm not quite sure what's going on. I still have you super loud. Super loud? Like, really crazy loud. Right? How about on the, uh, now what's crackling? crackling? Oh, that's her with the fucking thing. Okay. Don't do that. We think that's, we think that's noise. Yeah, when we're having audio problems, maybe don't take the Jolly Ranchers yeah. the fuck out of the bag. <laughs> I'm just going to eat these crackers. <laughs> yeah. hey, How about now? You should be fine now. Yeah, now you're She's good. Out. Yeah, now you're good. You were real hot coming in. Yeah, I don't know what's <laughs> going on. Some of the bits that are replaying, not a big deal. We'll, t- we'll, we'll tweak it up next time. Not a big issue. Uh, they still can sort of hear the bits. I don't know. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Some some were iffy, some were painful, but some were good. Right, right, I don't right. know. We'll figure it out what the, what the story is. I think we're getting a plea through, and I have a feeling... It has to do with that lovely piece of software they installed on their broadcast PC. Ah, okay. Because okay, neither okay. of the two gentlemen checked what they were supposed to check. Right, Again, right, right. next broadcast time, the day before, all day, here, working out the bugs. Any case, let's get to it, Buddha. What do we got going on? Because we're going to talk apps. Yes, exactly. Our, our brand new, taking over the entire world. Yes. 
technology, technology you right. hold in your hand, right. our new apps. Right. They have these things called cell phones now. Yes. And every one of us have a cell phone, pretty I, much. Yeah. yeah, it's not. It's a flip phone. It's like. a flip phone. <laughs> but you, you have some apps on that phone, Buddha? Uh, no, actually. No. no but everybody yeah. has a phone nowadays. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, even I, my mom has a phone. Address. Yeah, I, I know what apps are. Right. I, I read the definition on, the, I think it was Wikipedia once. On Wikipedia, it yeah. was on there. The apps were on there. You saw the apps. You yeah. love the yeah, apps. Yeah, yeah, we know yeah. what's going on. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. thought there was a need for more apps. Oh, of course. I contacted my cohort, Buddha. Mm-hmm. We got together with Steve Jobs yeah. on that late Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Oh, so many spring days ago. Yeah. <laughs> and we sat with Steve, and I said, Steve. Steve. What the fuck, man? What we the got. Well, there's some need for some apps. See, now yeah. he should move the camera to my eyes while I stare at the camera. Steve, I said, Steve, we have some apps that we need. We mm-hmm. have some things, mm-hmm. some supply, some demand, some things that we need addressed. Right, 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 right. One was an app that could find me hookers anywhere. Yeah, right. That was a good app. Right, right. And I'm very happy that yeah. Hooker.com. I was just going to say Hooker Find. Hooker, <laughs> hookerfinder.org. It's coming. It's coming to a mall near you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's developing a little larger than I thought. <laughs> I didn't know it would develop as quite as large as, as it should be. But, but it, it did. Exactly. You, good ideas you can't control. They right. snowball out of control like that. No, what I'm loving today, Buddha, I'm loving, yes. you know, we, we, we fought the Instagram wave for months. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I saw Instagram as being this thing that you took a very nice photo, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. a high-end digital photo from right. my cell phone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I took it, and I made it look like it was a shitty Polaroid. Basically what you do. And I paid, and I, and I was like, look at my Archie, Archie yeah, boot. Look, right. I can wear tight jeans and have a beard now. <laughs> I can have a Raleigh figure mustache because, look, now the corner is faded. Exactly. This means I'm mm-hmm. an artist, yeah, not just a it's, photo it's geek. It's art now. Right. Exactly. Look, right, it's right, scratchy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's scratchy. I put it down. I put my PBR down on it. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I spilled a little mm-hmm. bit of PBR, mm-hmm. thus making it look edgy. Yeah, of course. I listen to indie bands. <laughs> I fucking go to Brooklyn. I'm an edgy guy. Mm-hmm. That's you what are. That, you are. That's what that was like to me. Yeah. I listen to Bleachers. <laughs> So to me, it kind of had that vibe. Like, why would you want to purposely make your yeah, photo no, look like shit? 100%, 100%. But then I got Instagram, mm-hmm. and I was like, I was addicted to Buddha. Where were you? Brother, I was gramming. I like a gram <laughs> grandma, bro. I was gramming everywhere. See, I still, I, I, I have one. Right. But I have yet to make the first post. I'll be honest with you, it's kind of difficult. It, yeah, I haven't got there yet. It was it's like, hard. Uh, I give up. It's, it's a hard thing to do. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. We have it at Wolfpack, but the thing is, to me, I kind of want to. I, I see a need for a more shittier photo because course, if yeah. making the photo shitty mm-hmm. makes it cooler, yeah. If I make it even shittier, it makes it even cooler. Like one more than cool. Exactly. Like plus one of coolness. Like plus one. Yeah, plus one of the cool. Yeah, that level of then then increases Buddha. plus one. I'm sorry, are we boring you? <laughs> Past my bedtime. Oh. I already bored everyone. So, <laughs> I said, what would make this thing great? I mm-hmm. I, div- I sat down. You and I worked this back and forth. Yeah. This is a great app. It's called Thumbs. Now, hold on. I'll explain it to you. Mm-hmm. Everybody back in the day, nobody in this room. Yeah, no all. no one to the right of me right. is what we're talking about. Right, right, right. But everybody else who's <laughs> older than eight remembers when you take photos and, you go, and you're go and you so excited. You put them in yeah, like, oh, you go to the supermarket and you drop them off. Yep. And then you'd, you'd wait like a week. Uh-huh. And sooner or later, it was like 24 hours. And I was like, my God, my God, One hour? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> How did you make this in one hour? How is it possible? Mm-hmm. You put them in the thing. And you come back an hour, of course you stole them. Oh, yeah. Because nobody ever watched them. Yeah, not, not at all. And you pick up your photos, and inevitably, 12 or 13 out of the photos that you took at least. were absolute shit because oh, of yeah. one or two reasons. Mm-hmm. One of the main reasons is your thumb in front of the thing. Always. Or your pinky in front of the thing. Yep, always. Now, I'm like, that's almost like saying like a Renoir or like, you know, Mike Douglas from Fun, mm-hmm. you know, like, oh, I see you in film. Right, right. So I said, let's design an app. Go ahead and pull up the app I took of uh, the photo of Buddha. Uh, that I took in Japan. Now, this is a, bo- a photo I took of you just recently in Japan. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're clearly 19 here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're happy. There's a lot of Asian hate speech next to you yeah, typed man, on the wall. I, I was with Emperor Okichimpo. You were with Emperor Okichimpo? It was a very good time. Our yeah. good friend Isao from Japan. If you look, there is a dancing dildo on the poster there behind me, is which is really crazy. Dildo. And that might have been why you're smiling. <laughs> we're not quite sure. Yeah. No, would you say that's a good photo? I think so. I how mean, could I make yeah, it better? Yeah. Show them how you know. can make it better. Press the thumbs button. One, two, three. It's very simple. Pre- there it is. There it is. <laughs> so there's the superimposed thumb. It's it's blurry. Mm-hmm. Notice mm-hmm. I hit the right angle thumb button. There's four selections that you can do here. Yeah, right, right, right. I upload right. this right to my Facebook. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm an instant I'm an instant uh, uh, Picasso of the of the oh, photos. Definitely, definitely. Are you not convinced, Buddha? I am convinced. For those that are not convinced at home, God, pull up the other photo of our good friend. We took I took a photo just just the other day of my friend, my good friend Spaghetti Dave. Oh Spaghetti yeah. Spaghetti Dave was over. 
We're hanging out, and I took this photo of Spaghetti Dave. <laughs> he's looking good. He's looking sweaty. He's looking dirty. I mean, how could you improve Spaghetti Dave other than the fact that he kind of, I don't even want to say, but how could I improve? Hit the button. I don't think you can. Uh, there it is. Oh, my God, you did. Thumbs. So good. So good. Buddha. So good. 1995 on the iStore right now. 1995. That's it. That's it. Only 1995. 1995. 1995. You download it right to your fucking phone. Like, and if you like retro, if you right. like anything like that, this if is what you, you need for you, your photos. Look, if you're really a hipster, thumbs. Right. This is what you get. An additional twenty nine ninety five gets you pinky or oh. strap. <laughs> oh, the strap too. Either one, man. That we haven't developed yet, but you can you can pre order. We're, we're working on that. That's going to be that's going to be the follow up downloadable content for. Tell me a little bit yeah. about your app, Buddha. Well, okay, this is kind of a really basic app. Now you're saying taking pictures of food and things sure, like sure. that. Sure. Same concept. 90% of what's on my Instagram 100%, is people yeah. showing me what they ate for lunch. That's all it is. Right. That's why I never got and into the other 10% Instagram. is them showing it after they ate yeah, for lunch. Exactly. And that's uh. gross. But like, okay, so when you're looking at, you, you know, you're taking a look at the food that they have on there. It's like, man, oh, okay, oh cool, they got french fries. I really need to see french fries. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's kind of boring. Right. But, 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 I mean, you get, uh, kind of get a hankering. It's like, man, I kind of want some fries. Well, you explain but, that I'm going to have a shot of cold cock. Oh, yeah, yeah, do what you got to do. And while you're sitting there, you're man, I really want, I really kind of want fries, but that's, that's, that's not going to do it for me. Basically, what this app is going to do, you can take a picture of anything you want. It can be food. It can be basically whatever it is. And what this app will do, will superimpose the two things in this world that will make anything better. Can we, can we pause for a minute? Yes, we can. I clearly just took a shot of a sponsor. Yes. And he clearly took the camera off of that. <laughs> <laughs> he might be the you. stupidest human being ever. I got you pouring your shot. Did you? I got you okay, pouring okay. Well, just, that's helpful. Just, just curious. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> <laughs> but tell me more about this app while we make sure that we have the dumbest producer <laughs> right. that ever did walk the earth. Now, wait, so I'm going to talk. Can we possibly put the camera on Jay? Is that, can we do that? <laughs> yes. This is just terror. Just Jay's Nothing arm. Nothing but terror. <laughs> staring blankly at nothing. <laughs> Tell me about the app, Buddha. Okay, well, basically, I, I gave you a little rundown, but what this app is going to do is going to then place the two greatest things ever, bacon and cheese, on top of whatever it is you're taking a picture of. It's actually going to, like, so whatever it's on the photo, the yes. bacon and cheese will appear. It'll appear. So if you're like, man, those fries look good, but I, what, what, how, I wonder what it would look like or if it would be better. Hit the button. Bacon and cheese appears on the photo if you have a, if you have a burger. Right, now. right. Let's regular try a burger. Old, yeah. I like burgers. Buddha. Burgers are good. Okay, uh, so here's, we, a, here's a photo you took of the burger. Here we have regular old burger, hamburger. It looks good, looks tasty, but... Go for broke. Hit them both. What can make it look better? Wow. That oh looks my that God. much better. Look that, at that. Oh, my goodness gracious. Right? That's all you have to do. And it doesn't work on just, just food. It can be right. anything. Can it be on people? It can be on people. Oh. Which is crazy. And I, I believe we have a photo of a man everyone knows, everyone loves... If we can put that up there. Oh, yes. who doesn't love Cuban Goody Jr.? Cuba Gooding Jr., show me the money, all that yeah, jazz. Yeah. Oh, I, we call oh, I need the, the to people's do. poet. <laughs> right? <laughs> Cuba Goody Jr. I need, what, I, what I need from you right now, J-Dub, is to show me the cheese. Can you show me the cheese right now? Oh, I think you, you can do them cheese. separately? Can you do them separately? Well, I don't know. Could you, could you have just uh, You know what? I say, I say go full blown. I say yeah, go full I mean, blown. Wait, no. Let's just see bacon. Maybe some people are... Okay, you guys want to go with bacon? Yeah. Okay, all right, then let's, let's go with bacon. Okay, <laughs> okay. There it is, okay. He looks kind of like the Denny's My Own Moons Over My Hammy. Oh, he does. He does. Or Mr. Good morning, Mr. <laughs> Breakfast. Good morning, Pee Wee. I mean, Cuba Gooding Jr. has never looked more delicious. No, he does look very delicious. And that's right all now. I'm saying. But, I mean, is it is it possible that he could possibly even look better? Hit I'm that sure. cheese button, Dubs. Yeah. And could he? What oh. the fuck? Look how good he looks. Don't you want to lick he, Cuba Gooding Jr.'s wanna, head right now? I want to lick him until he's dry. Uh, completely dry. I don't even know what that means <laughs> but i want to get my tongue out and i want to lap mr jr all <laughs> all damn day long but i'll be honest exactly and this is what the bacon and cheese app will do for this, you this is brilliant yeah this is brilliant 39.95 yeah oh, only yeah. available right That's now on, on android though only on android yeah, only on android we're, we're working on things we're getting it's something to do with bandwidth yeah it, it was a we the, we got a letter right it was a thing let's talk about the other apps we talked about this a little earlier now watch he's just gonna keep on the app screen for about five minutes Go he realizes go, there he goes. <laughs> I was hoping it was just going to be terror. Just terror. That's all terror. Right to terror's arm. <laughs> is, right, right, right to all terrorists is watching transsexual <laughs> porn. I think you should study <laughs> up next <laughs> time. I think if you study up, and then you're, like, you're ready to go, and you're like, that's Bailey Blue. And like, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> can't sc- I thought you'd at least know the UFC fighter. I, I did get that one right. Did you? Yeah. But okay. Now, now if, if we do it again and you get them all right, we know you cheated somehow. Just so you right. know. You're like, like, <laughs> aces, like, I must be the straightest man you know. 
This is an app I designed because I, I, I like Twitter, but I found Twitter to be yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. too um, inefficient in too communication. Wordy. Too wordy. What do I got? Is 150 characters? I could be there all goddamn day. Yeah, right. Like what? Do, I don't have anything that important that's 140 characters. Daddy, to what say. are you doing? I can't t- I can't go play Frisbee, son. I'm yeah. too busy twitting. Exactly. Daddy, Hold on. Daddy, mom just died. What are you going to do? Mm-hmm. I'm too busy twitting. Yeah. Hold on. I'd like I, to go to the funeral. Exactly. I can't. What are you going to do? Twitting. Exactly. Too busy. Sextagon. I'm going to clean the whole room. Oh, well, it's you're very simple. What? It's called Sextagon. Okay. Sextagon. It's based off the math. Okay. Sextagon is very simple. Right, right, right. It's, you take the numbers and mm-hmm. it's in a, a circle wheel. Right. And each number changes the value of the next letter. Mm-hmm. It's number. Okay. Thus changing the letter behind it. Okay. Thus being encoded. Right. Making it a five to six letter statement. Okay. Very simple sexagon. The weird thing is people right, keep right, thinking right. it's a sex app. I don't understand why. Because people don't understand math. They don't understand math. They open don't understand a book, science. people. This is sexagon. This is me talking to Big B earlier. Yeah, yeah look at that. Look at All Big right, B. I said, sup, Big B. He hasn't responded. It usually takes about 13 or 14 hours to get a response. Because you have to bring out the, the scale for it. Right, right, right. Well, I mean, but you get it, though. Right. Yeah, Certainly you get yeah, it. Exactly. And then you're like, sex gun, and then nobody can... I, I've got nine... I think, how many messages do I have waiting? Oh, my oh have man. Four, this thing's blowing up already. I have 48 sex guns waiting. Probably all asking me if I'm anywhere near closet... And uh, <laughs> if uh, if uh, I uh, I'll do bears. I don't know why they keep asking me those things. I'm a little disturbed by that. I mean, I'm sure it'll stop. You're and what does doing it chalky first. mean? I don't know what doing it chalky is. But uh, whoever keeps saying that, I don't want to know. Uh, Buddha, what else you got? I know you have another app. <laughs> well, this one to me, uh, I when growing up, I had a favorite TV show. We all do. It F was- Troop. A great show. Awesome troop. It, this is one of my favorite shows was the show's Perfect Strangers. I, okay, no one on my right knows any no, idea no, what the hell that show no. was. Is a show that okay, this is a show that was on the was 80s. Was Ryan Seacrest okay? in it? Yeah, right. <laughs> it was a show in the eighties that had one of the all time greats, Bronson Pinchot, in it. Right. He's like the Al Pacino of the eighties. One hundred percent. Like he 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 ruled the eighties basically. But this app is not based on Bronson Pinchot. I can get him to sign off. I we, we, we discuss some things. He's doing a lot of big things right now. He's he's got a very busy schedule. We couldn't work things out. No. But instead of that, instead of Bronson Pinchot, I talked to his co-star. Right. Mark Lynn Baker. Mark Lynn Baker, the other star from Perfect Strangers. Who he really he carried the show. I mean, Bronson Pinchot was good. He was funny, but. Cousin Larry really, really, really... Well, here's here's the Cousin Larry app. Now, yeah. I want to know. Personally, I'm like, you're talking about this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm wondering right now, what okay. the hell is Mark Lynn Baker up to now? I mean, seriously. Well, it's funny that you ask that because what this app is going to do... Right. As soon as you hit the button, you see Cousin Larry there, you can actually tap in and see what Cousin Larry is doing. You're underselling it, Buddha. Facial recognition, drones, right. computers, the <laughs> internet, Skynet, tied into one app. Yeah. Easy to use app. One button, tracks him with DNA with an RID chip that we put in his right. coffee while he was sleeping. Show me what he's doing right no now. No matter Press where he is, you are going to find him. Is this security footage? No, this is actual footage of Mark Lynn Baker. In his house. Right now. Right now. What this is doing? going on. He is cleaning the dishes, it looks like. It looks like he's having some coffee. Well, oh, it's coffee. Yeah, like this is any at any given time during the day. Right. You can plug on in and just see what he's up to. I just see what he's doing right now. Yeah. It's, so if you're like in the voyeur, voyeur stuff, you like sure. watching people, sure. whatever it is, if you want to just know what he's doing, if he's in your neighborhood, you right. can find out. Uh, it, it you can find to- you can see yourself sense. on that app at any given time. That makes total sense. I, who wouldn't want to know what Mark Lynn Baker is up to? I always I know do. I do. Anybody else want to know? I definitely do. I'm raising my hand. So for do we that. have to like pay for this every month or? You well, there's, pay a, one, there's one, okay. So it's thirty nine ninety five for the download, and yeah. it's ninety nine ninety nine. Per month, month yeah. for full bandwidth access if you'd like it to your phone. Yeah. If you'd like it to your home TV, it's an additional thirteen ninety five. Thirteen ninety five, yeah. And it also comes with a really cool belt. Oh, but, cool. And All right. for an additional well, twenty nine ninety four, right? he will actually send you an 8x10 autograph. Signed. Signed, yes. With, with, with okay, that's I, I, yeah. my mind. I, I mean, I don't know why people, uh, you should have my, this guy giving me your money now. My, my mind this is This is all you're going to want to do yes. for right. hours. I, you know, a lot of people go on the Facebook for days. Constantly, yeah. Uh, but why would you want, if you had a Mark Lynn Baker app? Okay, yeah, that's, what more do you need? You're just going to be sitting there watching him. That's it. Have coffee. That's argue it. with his wife. Argue with his wife having a cup of yeah. joe. I, I was already Who, like, I was. I, I wanted to watch. I kind of want to stop this show and just watch now, I'll be honest with you. Don't you? Let me talk about the last app we okay, have. Because yes. this is kind of good. You it's saw a good one. two gatherings ago, we met up with a gentleman yes. from Onyx. Yes. A guy by the name of Sticky Fingers, a good friend of me. What's mm-hmm. me? Wheeze. <laughs> sticky Fingers, because I'm, I'm getting into Sticky Fingers mode. Sticky yeah, Fingers, right, right, right. one of the lead rappers of the New York mm-hmm. famed 80s group Onyx. Yes. 
Sticky Fingers is known for one thing, a very grimy, loud noise. And he'd be like, very grimy. I don't get every way! Yeah. He'd have like a noise like <laughs> yeah, that. Right, and he's right. such a good guy. And even when you're talking to him, he's like, what's up, daddy? Yeah, and like that. that's how he talks. That's not stick. Yeah, that's him. It's like someone with a cancer because they're yeah. always doing this. Well, yeah, exactly. He had an accident. He yeah. got in an accident. <laughs> the voice stayed like that. That's how he's been since. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good guy. I said, this is a great voice. We could, act, we could, we could harness this power. Yeah. We need to do something more than just on it. There's so many people out yeah. there that have special needs. What? Oh, gotcha. And they all have special phones. They do. And you have deaf people and you have blind people. And in my mind, they're almost the same people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, they all mm-hmm. have that that problem. Right. So we developed together an app called Fingers. Yes, right, right, Because his right. name is Sticky Fingers. Sticky Fingers, of what course. What this app does, the first thing it does is it takes your smooth, don't show it yet, it takes your smooth screen and it makes it into Braille. Okay, right. Go ahead, bring it up, bring it up. And as soon, whatever you type into Braille... As soon as he comes up, now see, that is Sticky Fingers. That's Sticky Fingers up there. He posed for that for us. You type in what you're going to do with Braille, and you hit it, and his phone rings, and Mm -hmm. he calls who you're trying to get a hold of. Exactly. He hooks it up for you. It's like the old school telephone systems. Exactly. He then, because he's a a master fluency in Braille. Yes. Oh, yeah. He reads what you're trying to write. Right. To the person, mm-hmm. and then he yells it super loud and stick yeah. your fingers voice into your phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So even if you're deaf, you could hear it. Exactly. No matter Pick what up you're going to hear, milk yeah. right exactly. here. You know, it works all the time. Well, of course. We're having a problem with the speakers. We're also mm-hmm. having a problem figuring out how to get the screen to be braille. Okay, right. Well, I, the sticky has some ideas. Sticky We're working has some on. ideas. So, We're working through it. Yeah. Seventy nine ninety five. Mm-hmm. But you can get an Obama credit if you're deaf. Ooh, okay. uh, to pay in three thousand dollars more to Obamacare. Okay, okay. To get the free app. I mean, but you have to sense. show the Obamacare thing. Well, yeah, yeah, for being yeah. deaf. And right, I think right, it's like right. I really think it's just a, it's like I have deaf. Yeah, you have and, to you have you know, to take a hearing test first, right. and then you'll be fine. Exactly. <laughs> so it offsets your tax credit. Right, right, right. Which offsets your carbon credit. Of course, right. Thus making it a free app, a only free three thousand dollars. And to have sticky fingers in your pocket to make phone calls for you. I'd pay three thousand dollars to have sticky fingers in my pocket. Right here, here's what, my wallet. Who wouldn't do that? Right. <laughs> like, I think we have the cutting edge. Not to buy this. Oh, I think we have the cutting edge of technology. But I'll be honest, we really with you. do. We if really you're do. interested in the app, you find us online at wolfpack.com mm-hmm. or all mm-hmm. those places. You let us know what you think. Yeah. If you have an app idea, let us know what you you yeah. have, because we'll gladly steal your idea. Yeah, we, and we will channel Steve Jobs, and we yeah. will start yeah. making this happen. We'll make this happen. We'll make these apps happen. Buddha, man, we're, we're running late. We're running out of time here, sir. Right, we don't have a clock in the studio. I never know what's going on. It's kind of like Vegas in here. It is kind of like Vegas. You know, we might have to hold off, because we're having the technical problem with playing right. the, uh, the the other bits. We might have to hold those till next next broadcast. Okay, okay. Because we only have two left, but everybody's saying there's an echo thing, and I do believe I will suss out the problem. Okay, right, It right, happens. Right. It does happen. Well, what out the problem? Sus. 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 It's kind of like I'm a bunion. Uh, <laughs> bunions are delicious. You know, that was really I, impressive. That just stayed like, like that? up too. That's really weird. It's good, right? Like, it, like magic. terror can read it right now. That was, that was we ridiculous. We actually really do type notes. It's yeah. weird, right? I can't do it. It's not funny. It's like David Letterman. Yeah, was like there was no way you could have planned that, but it just worked out perfect. I think we're gonna have to call. You know, we're at an hour fifty-two minutes. Oh, geez. Oh, wow. I think it's been a good. I think we should just call. You know, we're gonna have to say goodnight tonight. Now. Yeah, we only have two hours of power. So two hours I can of power. Mean, the system goes down. Yeah. It, it just breaks breaks our Man. heart. The hamsters get tired of running. In they the do. Wheel and that's and right. the gerbils get tired of being in transsexual butts of. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Terrorist friends. <laughs> Right there, she did the boy yo yo yo. We're having some sort of hamster wheel noise. It's like writing down like hamster wheel noise. Check. Buddha, anything you want to add? Anybody, anybody you want to add to the show? Because I, I looked up and it's almost two hours, man. I mean, that, it, it flew by. I wasn't enough time for me to finish all my snacks. No, how like, much snacks do you have left? A lot. Maybe if we <laughs> shared. Yeah, I mean, there's a whole room of people. I'm starving. I don't like sharing my snacks either. No? no. It was a huge bag. It's it doesn't huge. matter. Don't look at it, Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> don't look at her bag of snacks. I'm sorry. I will That's weird. Stop looking at her bag. Oh. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that went nowhere. The what the fuck was that? She tried to throw a Jolly Rancher at me, and it yeah, it hit. Clearly Negro. backfired. And now they're just throwing candy. <laughs> like, it clearly right. backfired. Like, what? It happens. I don't know, man. I guess I guess we're just gonna have to call it. Uh, call eat it, it a Buddha, night. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Yes. Buddha, anything you want to add? The Jolly Rancher is pretty good. Mm-hmm. So I just got attacked. That's bad. <laughs> like, but um, hold on. <laughs> We just go right to the end times. There we go. All right, well, that's yeah, it, I man. Mean, yeah, there's really not much more to add. We, that show popped fucking quick. It really did. 
But that means we have a lot more to talk about the next time. We have a lot more because next time we have, we're going to bring back, of course, the ass anthrax. We have another culinary uh, cooking with cul- a lot of people want to know about that stuff. Mm-hmm. Some of the bits you're going to be able to see this all tomorrow on uh, the uh, Psychopathic mm-hmm. News stream. Yep. Uh, probably on the Psychopathic uh, YouTube channel as well. Mm-hmm. Some channels get pulled for profanity. Ours don't because we're good little boys. <laughs> uh, I want to thank you all for listening at home. I'm sorry about the technical problem in the bits. We'll figure that out, why that was an issue, but we'll, 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 yeah. we'll work that one out. Next and, time uh, around, that will not be there. It will not be there. I think some of them worked, and then some of them got some sort of mm-hmm. doubling, and I don't know if that was a Ustream problem or not. We'll figure it out. Not a big deal. Uh, so from us here, we want to thank you guys for checking us out. We want to yes. thank you for tuning in to the Wolfpack Super Deluxe Front Number IAR mm-hmm. on Cycle Brother Radio. As always, you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and uh, and go to wolfpack.tv. Tomorrow you'll see the release of the new Failed to Miss. That's right. Uh, brand new Failed to Miss. I forget what episode we're doing tomorrow. What, what, what game was it tomorrow? Do you guys remember what episode one was, perchance? I don't know, but you I guys, seriously, this season... Whoa! You got it. You got to tune in. I I don't know what episode one was. Do you want to share anything that happens on episode one? No. You you don't know what happened. No, you people better fucking tune in. You have to tune in, right? (laughs) Apparently, we we'll just say it left me speechless in some some of them. There's a couple of things that definitely happened. We are playing. Let me see. I think we're playing. Uh, well, we are playing a lot of Xbox 360. Yes, we are. Yeah. And I do believe this we are playing... Se- and this season is all... It's a uh, shooter. It's uh, all shooter first-person person shooters first person shooter games versus... Yes. And we're playing tomorrow. We're playing Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, and that's... that's Holy... Sh- yeah, tune in for that fucking one. <laughs> holy shit. That's all I got to say. Should be released around 4 or 5 o'clock. If mm-hmm. not by 9 o'clock, check back on Wolfpack TV. Mm-hmm. Check it out there. Check out the show. Check out the replay. Send it to your friends. And let, let everybody know, hey, man, if you got any suggestions of the show, too, feel free to send them on in. Yes. Go to wolfpack.com and hit up Sugar Daddy, Record, uh, Sugar Daddy at SugarDaddyRecords.com. Mm-hmm. Let's uh, pay a little tribute to our quick uh, our quick uh, sponsors real fast, as everybody does. Of course, we got, now, can't you do this with Transfer Screen? We got Beware Inc. Oh, wait, let's see what he's doing. He's, he's always, Oh, no, he can't. What is he doing? Magic. He's, he's, no. He doesn't remember anything. What? Beware Inc. <laughs> clothing for the Living Dead. This is our clothing company that we have that we... It's awesome. Pick some up at the gathering this year if we're there. If not, pick it up online. You know, BeWearInc.com. Keep it going there, silly man. Uh, forgiven. Uh, forgiven. Alcohol metabolizer. Unbelievably great stuff. You get drunk, take Forgiven. You won't You won't even feel it. You'll probably pass the breathalyzer. Awesome stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Take Forgiven. Drink Forgiven. Go online. Pick some up right now. Cold Cock. The beautiful Cold Cock whiskey. It's herbal infused. Delicious stuff. So good. ColdcockWhiskey.com. It's delicious stuff. The tap machine's in the, in the studio. Mm-hmm. We love you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, yes, hopefully you'll be seeing more from these guys. Make sure you pick up a bottle of Colcock wherever you are. Studios. E-Town said this is our good friend that does all our videos and all sorts of great stuff. So our good friend Mike G. Check it out if you're in the PA area and you're seeking rehearsal or recording. The studio's at Town Center. Of course, New Republic. If you're in a band, a merchandise mm-hmm. guy, whatever you are, you're selling merch, shoes. Sneakers, hats, t-shirts, bumper stickers, doesn't matter. NewRepublic.com. Check it out. They'll beat everybody's price. They'll give you a better better deal, and they will definitely school it. So if you're an artist mm-hmm. especially, check out NewRepublic.com. Wicked Sushi, our graphic designer. If you're in need for any sort of web graphics, designs, any sort of stuff like that, check out WickedSushi.com. Email at design at WickedSushi.com. And, of course, Wolfpack TV. Got to go there. Of course. Our stuff's always there. God, keep going. And our good homie, Road Dog Productions, handles all the bits for the show, handles all the stuff. He does great work, great editing. Come back to the camera. You can roll those credits if you'd like. I'm not quite sure if they're there or not. We'll see if they are. I love I can see up your shorts, Buddha. It's kind of cool. Oh, hey. Anything <laughs> else you want to add? Uh, everyone, be sure, once it is actually released, to check out the new Wolfpack video. New Wolfpack video yes. should be by tomorrow night. Special by kind tomorrow, of love. tomorrow night. There's a different version, by the way. Yes. The version you'll see tomorrow is Wolfie. definitely the first. Look, he can't figure out how to work the green screen. There he goes. <laughs> we got a lot of good stuff going on at the Wolfpack camp. Psychopathic has a lot of great stuff. They're going to mm-hmm. be announcing a whole lot of stuff for the gathering of the oh, Juggalos. Yes. Be keep, keeping tuned to that site. Mm-hmm. What site, Buddha? What's the gathering site? JuggaloGathering.com. Make sure you're there. Make sure you tune in. Make sure you hit up Wolfpack.com. We want to say good night to y'all. Peace. <laughs>